All right, how, wait, what, 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 what's this? How do you not have the game capture yet? Okay, there we go. Hello and welcome back, everyone. How's it going? How's everyone be? Uh, we were going to stream this tomorrow, but I really just wanted to play more, so we're going to stream it more today. Uh, we're going to continue where we left off, uh, which is kind of the first run that we had started that felt pretty good. Um, and so we'll be continuing the struggle. First says Charles' iPhone, Big Nice. Second says D uh, Dimitro Yanov, Big Nice as well. Welcome to the stream, you guys. Um, so we are going to be continuing on with this Rome run. Uh, just clear evidence of anti-Carthage bias because the first Rome run we play through, the game's just super easy, super coasty, and we are thinking that we are going to dow this gentleman here, and by this gentleman I mean Sweden, uh, when we hit Professional Army. So we're looking for a timing window when we hit Professional Army to just immediately be able to turn around and say, hey, we got some new good units. Uh, this is often something that's really strong in games, using particular windows, where you are going to be way stronger or considerably stronger than your opponent, and we think we're going to be hitting one of those. Uh, and so we will be trying to continue there. Millennia is the new game, the new 4X game that's published but not developed by Paradox Studios. It's developed by C Prompt Games, and so we are planning on getting a little bit of playthrough through. We're just double checking on our stream stuff, making sure that, yes, indeed, stuff is working properly. It looks like it is. Yeah, okay, we're we're off and away, and so we're, get, we're going, we're going, we're going. We in it. Okay, let's take a look. We have a lot of engineering experience. Maybe there's something useful we could do. So public improvements, uh, I think that we... 10 improvement points is really not too great. We maybe are underutilizing that. We can unlock one of these. I think that we need tinkerers to get the legacy. So we're gonna need to put this in and tinkerer costs 30 improvement points and gives engineering XP, which is actually pretty hot. Uh, so maybe let's unlock Tinkerers. Now, we do have 36 points available, currently. And where do we want to put it, some Tinkerers? Well, I think right here might be a fine spot, so let's put one down. I don't remember exactly what our full strategy was, but this is going to help us uh, develop a bit more. And so hopefully that'll be good. Gives one engineering experience and converts two tools to four machines. Oh, and gives a ton of improvement points. Holy shit. Okay, so we have to figure out a way to make tools then. I didn't realize it was converting something. Let's undo this then. <laughs> Let's undo. <laughs> That's our first time utilizing the undo button. I think that we don't have access to tools just yet, or we just finished. Okay, what's this? Workshop, logging camp. So workshop makes tools. Um, but most of our iron production is here. So I think if we are going to make a thing, we maybe make it over here. I'm con I'm concerned about future future uh, placements of stuff, but we see that okay. There's a toolsmith here, uh, and what does this do? It converts two ingots uh, to two tools. Okay, so let's make an, one of those here. So let's take a look at the city, and we have ingots, and the ingots are getting converted to tools, and the tools are looking nice, and then we will convert these tools into tinkerers. Okay. So the iron's becoming increasingly important, kind of with what we got going on here. This guy likes kids, what the hell? Um, how do you feel about the AI? I found it unnecessarily aggressive in your first one. We found the AI really aggressive, but maybe it's necessarily aggressive. We think that they're getting a huge bonus somewhere, or that the game's horribly unbalanced though. Uh, with neighbors dicking on you no matter what actions I took, yeah, this is, I think, what's happened. Usually rage quit one of your vassals to declare independence. I didn't understand the unrest of chaos. So chaos uh, is a ladder, okay? No, you get accumulating chaos just like you get accumulating uh, uh, innovation, right? And the, at when this bar fills up, you'll get a negative event. Uh, and if you have a lot of gold, usually you can offset the negative event. So stockpiling gold is maybe something that's useful. Maybe the toolsmith makes tools? You are correct. We, we read that a little bit late in the game. Unrest feels really wonky, IMO. 
but you like, you have to have a garrison, and if your city's under siege, there's no chance you'll be able to keep up with the unrest, 100%. But, this is maybe just an aspect of the game, we actually have two garrisons in both of our bigger cities in order to prevent them from, um, uh, in order to keep things down. But, to be fair, what happens if there's no police? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not certain I, I hate this from like a simulation perspective, you know what I mean? All right, we are continuing to accumulate um, some troops. I think that we maybe want a small garrison here of like actual fighting troops uh, with the idea that uh, we're pushing in through here, but we do want to be able to resist any type of push coming back from them, I think. So we'll do that. We have some warfare experience. We can't use our volunteers. We're probably not gonna be, we're gonna be using the warfare experience to upgrade guys, I think. We can now claim territory. We can also spawn utility ships. I don't hate claiming this, to be honest. Where's our other iron as well? Well, we'll be getting a bunch more of these things and then we will be able to build a tinkerer in Trevorium. So I think that it's starting to feel like we're at a point where we're kind of gonna pop off. We have kind of these cities up here. What we have to be really scared about is we can't fight a war up here. We do have a city guard up there. That's really not going to be necessary, but it's kind of on the frontier of our empire. That's kind of why we have it here. We're planning on putting a town here. I think that'll be pretty good, and it'll help us to get uh, expanded into that iron and coal. Okay, I think we're maybe ready for the next turn. Really would like us to... Ooh, what's this? Wait a, wait a tick. What is this? Unpack. Oh, can we unpack and then fire at them? But we can't do that with the cannons. It looks like. I don't think we could... Yeah, we can't go into their borders yet. And we have this merchant. We'll just continue move on him. Send him to Pittsburgh. Oh, so the USA has been super friendly towards us, which we're not sure. Is that a jug of whiskey? Yeah, we're getting we're getting a little frisky with the whiskey. It's not whiskey, by the way. All right, so these things will just attack us, but it's letting us know, hey, we have troops incoming from this direction. So maybe we make a little bit of an adjustment. What? I mean, why don't we unpack here? Okay, so now we can fire, I assume? Let's maybe move this guy... I, it's unclear what the pack unpack does, but I guess maybe we'll have an ability to fire. Unpacked or packed buff. Alright, let's end the turn. I think once I get used to the difficulty, it's going to be one of our favorite games, but it feels like it's really punishing. Yeah, it does feel super punishing. Alright, so we have this guy mainly just keeping eyes. Now we have enough to make our Tinkerer here as well. Let's kind of make it a little... Let's make it a little in back so that maybe we don't get wrecked. And now we should be getting so much from here. So, okay. Our iron is consumed. Do we have a need of iron? Our iron consumed to make this... Uh, and we should have machines made out of the tools. And these make four improvement points each. So now we're just going to be getting a ton of improvement points. I think that we were building... Okay, we're building a spear here. I think we're building improvement points here. And I think we want to switch now. I think we want to make... Military... We can also upgrade. Oh. Requires, makes what knowledge? That doesn't seem. I think we maybe upgrade to Privy Council here. So let's, let's actually see what the professional armies maybe, actually maybe we get the professional army a little bit faster. All right, we're gonna switch. The point is that we're now we're getting a lot more of those points a turn to develop stuff. Or maybe we actually want more development points so we can get even more development points. This is like, there's probably just like a math way of evaluating this, but 
We did incorporate over here. And now it's size two, so I think our next development point, uh, uh, next time we get some points, we wanna put it into here. Can we rush anything? No, we're working on a workshop, all right. I think we're gonna wait here. These guys can continue scouting out. That continues their movement. Alexandria's idol. We made a spear. Let's actually upgrade the this some of this stuff because after after we research the tech, then we can the military tech, then we can build military units and we won't have to use any of our warfare XP to upgrade them. Yeah, so I kind of like that. How big are the maps? Uh, we don't really know. We haven't fully scouted an entire map, so we're not we're not at that point yet. Um, looks like we had a little bit of a rumble. Could we maybe beat this guy? So the the numbers don't necessarily really correspond to power. We've been gotten clapped by some of these guys. Why don't we just fortify up and see if we can take them, and then if we can't, it is what it is. I think this will be a fine enough defense here. We have a lot of Diplo. We could spawn an envoy, but we don't see anyone who we could maybe use that envoy on. Let's take a peek here. Alright, looks like their troops went somewhere else. I mean, they should be able to tell by, like, what's going on here that Calamity is going to come. But I think, I imagine the AIs, the AI gets strength through buffs, not other stuff. Oh, looks like we have zero faith. Huh, but here we have the faith. We need more food. We have low sanitation. So maybe we... So we could give... Trash improvements provide extra sanitation. Hmm. How close are we to incorporating some of these? All right, we could speed this up. I'm not sure how much we want to incorporate, though. We did say we wanted to work some more of these fishies. Um, Thebes, we could incorporate, I think, but I don't think we—I don't think we like the city very much, to be honest. Oh, 127. That's a lot. Maybe we sit on the government XP. Just trying to keep an eye on some of this stuff. Sit on the warfare XP. Rebuild ruined towns, kind of expensive. Religious celebration. Boost your state religion uh, in a friendly religion and reduces unrest. That seems pretty good. Promote your religion to a f in your state to a foreign religion. Your state religion in a foreign region. I assume that's not going to count over here. They are starting to become all Hindu, though. Alright, let's continue. Oh, we can increase prosperity with a merchant. Interesting. Maybe that's kind of one of the better uses for them. We're going to try and get some ducats, though. All right. They're improving relations, Sweden. Is that allowed? Whether we like it or not? Bro, you're the one who started this business. We can see here that it says their power score is just less than ours, but I don't <laughs> I don't know of faithful reporting that is. <sighs> okay, so we see a little bit of what's going on. I think that we will win this if we just keep fortifying up. Uh, let's go to Pittsburgh and let's deploy wealth, generate some wealth. Hopefully, I feel like that should make them like us more, but I don't think it does. I think we want this place to, as quickly as possible, 
finish this, so we're probably going to rush that at some point. Oh, what's this? They have unrest? Okay. Let's move the city guard over there, then. And maybe on these guys, let's actually build another city guard. After this. But we have unrest, so we could try one of our buttons here. Boosts your state religion in a friendly thing and reduces unrest. Why don't we do it here? And that brings the unrest down. It's getting plus six a turn. And then this guy will be able to get over there and significantly reduce it. So we're at the point where we are big enough to absolutely need at least one city guard in every place. And probably approaching where we're going to need two, to be honest. Why don't we put a city guard after this? So we'll finish that up and then get a city guard so we don't forget. Oh, what's that? A settler? Is that a settler, my guy? Accept alliance. Hmm. Kind of inclined to decline. Let's just accept for the testing. We're now at war with Brazil. Fantastic. Wait, is this Brazil? Oh, shit. I don't think we wanted that. I don't think we wanted that heat. Shoot, shoot, shoot. We also really wish that we had a road here. Alright. Let's make a pioneer here. And look to establish a road. Heading on over. What is this? You're sieged. By the merchant man. But what about the muffin man? Okay. This is awkward. I guess we're going to need to create a new army. So maybe you need to build real units after you're done with this. Crossbows, I think, are the best at defending. Why don't we rush that? And you should probably be taking a different route. Actually, maybe we get a little bit of a peek at what's going on over here. Maybe they don't have too much army. Um, we could use a culture power to spawn an army. I don't think we want to. I don't think we want to use volunteers. Shoot. Alright, you finished a privy council. Why don't you make a crossbowman? And then go for the medieval university. And let's send this reserve army up here this way. Okay. Let's get this guy to flock out of here. We don't want to be close to Brazil. And maybe we could actually help to defend that over there. Alright, perfect. Nicobodia. Hmm. Well, we're gonna need an aqueduct there soon. How are we doing on this front? Minus six. Huge amounts of... We have a ton of guys garrisoned here, though. Domestic export. So we were thinking of exporting bread from here. 
We also really need housing there, so why don't we make a... Not dwelling, there's a better version. Public quarters. So now they have more than enough to grow, but we were thinking of shipping the bread somewhere else. To be fair, we have really, like, we're gonna be more inhibited by, like, this type of stuff. We could ship it to the capital. Kinda like shipping it over here, but these guys don't need any bread to grow. Because they have a ton of food anyway. And what is this, intolerance crisis? I guess we're gonna be going for the age of intolerance. Big oof. Or we let someone else research the age before us. We need docks here. Hmm. Maybe can these guys can help with the fortification problem? See, how does that help? Garrison units... Okay, so only getting two unrest. And we want them to set up an outpost here just to construct a road. We tell him to smell you later. Is this your first playthrough? No, it's like our third or fourth. Uh, but it's the this is the farthest we've gotten. I had a little bit of a a few hiccups. Stay up to seven a.m. on a workday playing this game. Review is review is game is good. I mean, we were not planning on streaming today, but we're streaming. Everyone hates Civ loyalty system until some jerk passes out on your front lawn, basically. Raiders is definitely OP in Bronze Age, followed by Monarchy to get stupid out vassal buffs. I only won Capital City for ages. Yeah, but we're trying not to do Raiders because we heard it was OP. You want to know what I dreamt? You dreamt of Carthage. The dream that all heroes dream. Um... Wait, why is this guy... Oh, yeah, he's got to head back. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And then you... Can head this way. And then the road we construct will make you head that way faster. Big nice. We have a decent chunk of improvement points. We're six turns off of pro army. Yeah, allying with the U.S. was a mistake here, I think. Now we're just nervous about the other stuff. We could rush this. Uh, and we could rush it specifically because we want to spawn a unit here. This may be sensible. We could also just rush units. We could produce units and rush them. And I think we don't want to we don't want to spawn units if we can avoid it because if we research tech we can do it. You dreamt that Rome was restored, Pog. Someone, moderators, can we get this guy? Jokes on me, I don't have any moderators. Uh, like okay, how do we get this faith though? Will this give faith? No. We could export paper to them, actually. I think we're making paper over here. Actually, let's see what goods we're making here. We're making paper, right? Alright, we can't import anything there. But if we send paper over here, we could make religious texts. Okay, so I guess... And we're working on a market. Um, which will give us foreign import slots. We need a foreign export slot.
Domestic export, Persepolis. Okay, wait. I think this will give us what we want. Oh no, it won't. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not what we need though. We need the stores then. We need to build this so that we can ship paper to here so that we can make religious texts here. In Trevorum. Hey Mod, I need you to chill. <laughs> the name's Joe Madago. <laughs> Monasteries with paper? <laughs> Settle Dad. <laughs> Get a mod. <laughs> um, yeah, suppose. Ooh, we don't even have enough for logging camp. We'll do a logging camp next. Because this is a logging thing, so we want most of our logging to come out of Nicomedia. Oh, they need religious texts too. Why is it satisfied here? Do we have a religious... I mean, we found it. Religious birthplace, I'm assuming, is giving it to him. Got it. Got it, that makes sense. That tracks. What is that? If our Canadian controls the future, it will be a dark one. Oh no, not like this. Okay, so... Are we supposed to clap this? Feels like we are. Oh, that's USA. That's our ally, just kidding. Now, when we deck on them, the USA should come to help us, but should is... Not necessarily does. Reduces chaos. So we could reduce chaos here. Oh! This increases the chance of a negative. So now we have an 8% chance of a negative event every turn, and once we hit one, the thing will go away. We could do this. We could do a raise army. I think we wanted to create a town. Here. Ooh, which nicely gives us a road there. Um, and then we wanted to create an outpost here. Yeah. That's the stuff. And then get these guys going. Maybe to even to Thebes. And then... Yoink. We know we're at war with you, but... Uh... <laughs> We'll get there in just a second. And this will actually be a decent defensive force. Especially if we can continue to expand here. We do have enough to gather there. But I think we wanted to increase the construction output here. So let's gather here from the logging camps. And now we don't have enough for the fishery, but that's okay. So we have an excess log. Which we could use in a sawmill. Or we can make more paper to export the paper. But we can't export more than one paper. But we can satisfy our own needs here. Uh, for religious stuff. Except we are gonna need a flat piece of land. We need to expand out into the desert, really. Or remove the woodlands. But we don't want to. The truth hurts. <laughs> Settle down, Joe. <laughs> Did you just mod the guy who's trying to be the mod? Is that allowed? That's illegal. Okay. Thebes, we're heading, we're heading there. All right, so that should be able to calm down the populace. And this also gives us chaos, so yeah. This isn't exactly the best spot, but we want the road. I guess the road, we've kind of already used it. We could convert the guy into something else, but I think it's fine. I think we wanted 
Well, we don't really need food up here, right? We already are at plus 200%. Food doesn't do anything for us, really. We could chop instead. We're working this tile anyways. Two turns to pro army. So we do want to make sure everything's in place. Just kind of looking through all of our places, taking a look at this, making sure that we're not generating any any radicalism. Why would you found LA there, dog? Asshole. We, w we really want to be the one to get this. I think we'll still get it, but... We could spawn a... S oh, in one turn we can spot a settler. Alright. I think we kind of just want to be scouting out there. Travernum is idled. We made a privy council. Maybe a treb? We're like one or two turns away from these better things. Maybe we build an encampment, actually. If we're going to be building military out of here, maybe this makes sense. And then we end the turn. What do we think, chat? Should we be doing try and go Age of Intolerance? After pro army? Or should we should we calm down? Oh to be fair, we could set sail with our scout. Let's maybe scout try and see if we can scout other stuff. See new lands. That's Pioneer. Kind of far away from them. We should have sent cavalry up this way, actually, now that I think about it, instead of this army, but... The army's here now. I don't know what to say. We're gonna keep one of those in Persepolis. For defensive purposes. We could move him to Ravina, but Persepolis needs a... Actually, I like moving it one to Ravina, just in case some weird stuff happens. But that's going to make Persepolis need another city guard, so we're going to do that. And then maybe market. Oh, market after, what do you mean? We'll fortify that, region is idle. Travornum, we don't want to do any military right now, right? To be fair, this city's critically important to us, so maybe we build a keep, or we start working on a keep. The thing is, we're about to get Pike and Longsword. Maybe we... Re well, let's produce a trab. And now, I think we're gonna pack our trab up, because I think we can't move. Or maybe, oh, we just have very little movement. That's fine. Because we're just going to move into here. When we deck on them. Next turn. Oh, it looks like they might have a similar idea. Hey, they decked on us. Happy days. Alright, they're like, screw you, bud. Right as we finish our research. Which is perfect for us. Upgrade to Pike, upgrade to Pike. Oh, and we could also have one more unit per thing. So we don't quite have enough XP to do everything that we want. Let's go this, and then this maybe. Protect the flank slightly. And okay, we're fighting them. This also means that we could have taken in the Pew Pewer over here. I think we'll want to upgrade this guy to a pike, but let's just move these guys over. Um, 
I wonder if there's automated exploration. But we're getting a scout over there. Don't want any funny business. Funny business? Banned. Not allowed. And I guess we'll pull ah, whether or not we want to push the Age of Intolerance. So, we haven't seen this Crisis Age, but we don't know how bad it is for... We assume it's the idea is it's going to be bad for everyone, but it's going to be worse for some than others. Um, let's see. Age of Intolerance. Religion is good amplifier of good and evil, etc., etc. Uh, unlock deep water level, send explorers, select your next form of government. This age introduces social fabric system. Doesn't really tell us much about the age of intolerance. But what we could do is we could instead like research guilds or something and not be the first one in. So we could wait for someone else to research something uh, rather than us forcing it. It's kind of the idea, I think. News from abroad. US is now at war with Sweden, big nice. Then we have to choose the tech. We don't want to do that yet. But now... What are we building in some of these places? So after Medieval Uni, I think we go with uh, pikes or longswords. What do we need for longswords? Requires barracks? Oh, yikes. So I guess we'll go pike. Looks like people are 50-50 on it. Seven votes. We got four for intolerance. We haven't seen the normal age is one thing. So we haven't even seen what the normal age for there looks like. Other than that, I think we would research something like guilds. Uh, foreign imports would be very, very useful to us. Um... Especially with our paper problems, we can also get organized religion and actually start building things that allow us to branch that stuff out. Plowed farm giving extra food is like a vibe, huh? Bigger improvements. So we'd either push for organized religion, probably guilds. I think guilds would maybe do the... Villa gives more housing. It's maybe upgradable. Great hall. Looks like people are saying no now. Generally. There's nine votes. Okay, so it's like super close. Maybe we coin flip because it's just one off. So, and the great thing about flipping a coin is I can just lie to you guys and tell you it was one thing and it was the other. So heads will go in tolerance. Tails will go the other one. Alright, loose heads. We're going intolerance, baby. We'll see how that is. Alright, let's go Age of Intolerance. Alright, now we finished the stores here in Nicomedia. How are we doing on this? We have a ton of garrison. Oh, this is the down south area. We can build a barracks here so we can build some of the higher tier units. I don't hate a crane, to be honest. Let's see what they can do here. Looks like they're coming for us. So maybe we want to adopt a defensive posture, even. But we can't afford to pay. Oh, that is spooky. 144. Looks like they're not coming for there. I mean, it does seem that we're stronger. I guess we could fall back. Except these guys, because they're unpacked. But with them, I think we just get push in here, right? 
Oh, we just take this. Big nice. Do you like the game so far? I like it a lot, yeah. I think we just take this in one go, to be honest. Looks like the USA might even slow them down for us. A little bit. I'm kind of scared that we can't hold here. Let's rush this for 10. That way that can sit in there. That seems super worth it. And then... I guess we could build a crossbowman. That's going to be better on defense. We could even buy it. Don't want to get too wrecked by these guys. I think they're going to pillage all of our improvements, too. So maybe we save some of these improvement points. Um, maybe we attack the weaker army here. You could just also pull it back and look to play D, a little defense. I think that's what we'll do. They haven't pushed in here. Kind of were expecting to see that. That's so much fish, man. The, I think that this is reducing, yeah? Oh, it's at break-even? Yikes, okay. Uh, I guess we need more city guard then. Well, or are we sending up guys? Oh, poor Thebes. What the hell? Well, Thebes is just gonna get sacked like that. Oh, the, the guys spawned by our whatevers. Okay. Hmm. These guys can save it if they were closer. Tragic. To be fair, we kind of wanted some of this space for the other city anyways, if they sack it. Maybe we don't even like that city that much. We didn't even like those people. We didn't like that city. What's the latest age we've been to? Five. So this age that we're... Or no, this age that we're in right now. But we've been to this age a couple times. But the age of intolerance will be the next. We could culture rush, actually, here. For 182 gold, and then drop an army in Thebes. Maybe we like this, it also gives us units. Yeah, okay. So we'll rush, we'll use our culture power to raise an army, we'll raise it here. And these guys should be able to help defend, not to mention we will get to have a pretty big stack for going after Bello over here. I think we just fortify. We're break even here. Another thing we could build after this, though, is we could build the thing that's not going to cost us upkeep, which is a watch. And maybe this is. Maybe we like this actually. I think I like this. Ah, uh, but we wanted to build. Uh, we wanted to build sawmill. Or a choppy and a, a thingy. So let's build it here. Maybe. Put in a logging camp. And then here we could put in woodwork, we could put in a saw pit. And this will give us a bit more production. So that we can... Because I think we, we have more than enough food. Now it's down because we're not working quite as many fishing boats. Uh, but 
we're gonna be able to get this a lot quicker. Alright. Just gonna fortify these guys up. Nicomedia. I think we don't hate going for a keep here. Because we do have some concerns from that place getting attacked. I feel like it, the game very poorly gives the information on capitals and stuff. Uh, that's yikes. Hopefully that's not sacked. This would let us pull back kind of our troops. But I think we're so close to taking Bello. Let's continue the war for now. Alright, so how did these guys... These guys got on decently on the defense, it looks like. Um, I guess let's take a look. See if we need to make adjustments. What was the end situation? Okay, so we're, we're fine. Because this is the one we want to incorporate next. And we can integrate it. I don't know if we can afford the city guard situation. Wow, they have so many troops here. So many boyos. Let's unpack there. And then I think we merge here. We go after, with the scout, um, we go after this 144 stack. And we just look to punch it in the mouth. Can we upgrade one of these guys first? Maybe we want to upgrade the pike first. We could go into, Tha into Thessalonia then. But I don't think we want them piling onto the city. I don't think they get too many attacks onto us next turn. Onto this unit, but maybe we just... They won't sack this, then. I don't think they can attack the city too, too many times. Looks like they're leaving this alone, to be honest. So let's start bringing these guys over. That's gonna make you get some unrest, but I think... Yeah, let's do this. And we need that sort of prep anyways. Persephilus, you're on two guards. Because we know... Yeah, okay, now we're losing a ton of unrest. Why are you gated? I guess we're going to need to make you a town. Let's get a crane here. With the market complete, okay, foreign import and we can domestic export. So we can export the bread. Well, we really don't need the bread. Right? So who needs food the most? Is maybe the question. Alexandria needs food. The, I guess Alexandria. We're starting to have sanitation problems there, but... Shout out to Sanitation. Yeah, okay. I guess... We'll send it back to the capital. We also get bonuses for the capital, so... Let's actually just kind of cruise through... Domestic export here. In Nicobadia now. So we can send the paper... That we wanted to send over to to Warnum. Of course we got bigger problems there. So here let's see, we have paper now. So religious scribe. Converts two paper 
into two religious texts. Hmm. We need another paper. We're gonna need another boat. Um. For that to be worth. We don't have another flat land here, unless we built over this. To be fair, is building over this that bad? Might be. Might be in Yikesville. Oop. Well, we should have got on the land. We might have killed our guy there. Actually, wait. Oh, uh, there's nothing we could- oh, wait. There we go. Alright, so... A little bit tense in here. But I think we're gonna- I think we're gonna be doing okay. Hey, Bruno, how's it going? We hope we have more luck today, too. A little bit low on the luck. It's free real estate. Wait, why did the Twitch chat not come over here? What? Is something wrong with the Twitch? It is free real estate though. Okay, now that's working, alright. Alright, looks like. Ooh, looks like they're. <laughs> they've reevaluated. Okay, let's do us the one. I think that we can kind of go after these guys without getting into too much trouble. I'm worried about the crackback, but also we have a cannon, so there's that. So let's pack it up. And then we cut that guy off. And then let's unpack here and get ready for them to push Heisenberg or whatever so that looks like that might be their idea and with the unpacked trap we'll probably be able to join up with these guys next turn I do think we yeah we built a pikeman here now I think that we're going to build another city guard here because I think we incorporate this. Or we integrate it. And with that in mind, I think instead of these guys shipping... Ooh, yikes. We don't want them to take that. Uh, but instead of these guys shipping... Oh, no, wait. Persephilis uh, is going to ship to Ravenna instead. And now... Ravenna should be getting bread. Vic 3 today? No, we're not going to do Vic 3 today. That is a lot of fish. Now Ravenna is going to get a ton of this, despite it working the limestone. I think we are going to build the workshop first. Actually, town center is so fast. Let's do town center first, and then workshop. We're not going to rush it, though. Um, and then... We will... We have the free limestone from our thing, so we're going to put a stone cutter down. And so we're going to be getting the production and influence here while getting the bread imported so that we get the 200% growth, but also we get to have our cake and eat it too. We get to have a ton of production. And hopefully these expand also, because we want the influence. To be fair, we maybe build a pyramid here next. And just slap down a pyramid right here. That way we can hope to kind of get that. Um, looks like we're in okay shape, but since it's incorporated, we do want some sort of garrison there. Because uh, we are starting to get a lot of unrest from number of regions. Actually, more than I thought we'd be getting. So let's actually build a city guard here and then a town center. So 
So we'll try and keep an eye. So actually, how how bad, how dangerous is this for us? Is the unrest growing now? It's break even. We have a watch coming in next. Okay. We'll try to keep an eye on that in our cities. It's growing here. It's growing here despite having actually a ton of this. So let's do that. Oh, it's shrinking. But we're also going to march these guys out. Someone was saying if you get sieged, you, like, instantly rank up. What's the verdict on this game? I'm really enjoying it. I'm... I think that the balance is still quite rough. I think the overall underlying, like, structure of the game pre seems pretty sweet. We haven't really gotten a deep run, though, so I'm not sure if the deep run is, like, somehow more frustrating or something like this. Um... So, I'm, I, I'd be curious how that rolls out. This is the first run we've had that feels relatively good, though. Um, or that... Sorry, we're doing relatively well, it feels like. Um, so... That is a lot of fish, though, my guys. That's hella fish. Cephalus is idle. Now, this is our food place kind of in the north area. Uh, we see that it could use another level. This gives region level and sanitation, so I guess we'll do that. So Persepolis is also going to need a town, I think, next to the time. Vic 3 when? I don't know, but... The, we're definitely going to do Vic 3 on Saturday stream. Saturday stream, I think, is always going to be Vic 3. Unless there's a really strong reason not to. But, yeah, we're not going to be uploading a Vic 3 video today. I think we'll upload a Vic 3 video today, uh, tomorrow, in addition to the Dev Diary. That's the current plan. Alright, looks like they came here to re-siege. After kind of looking like they were going to push this, I think we... So let's unpack again. Did they just overrun us or did they run around us? They just ran around us. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think we rank this guy up. We upgrade the pike. And we just go for this. I think we're in decent shape here. Here, I think we collapse on this to protect the flank over here a little bit. <laughs> the cannon sends me. Gasoline, let's go. Anyways, you're gonna have dinner. Have a nice treat, Mr. Gasoline Drinker. Have a nice dinner, my guy. Be nice. Oh, they might go after Thessalonica now. I think that us just wiping their armies. But they have they get so many armies, dude. Right? Like, it just seems like they can support way more troops than us. And we're losing money now. Because we have so much unit upkeep now. It definitely does not feel symmetric. It feels like the AI gets to have way bigger armies. And I do not like when games are balanced like that in that way. We're gonna go after them like this next turn, I guess. Ah, run away. I think we'll save our thing for the next one. To be fair, we could do the palace increases region level, but this is just the palace. And we're getting, the next age, we will get a new government type, so I think we'll just sit on our government XP until then. For stone towers, we're not doing stone towers or walls, really. But we can do one of these. Pioneers can construct trebuchets. 
All furnace types gain wealth. An iron prospector wouldn't be terrible, to be honest. But let's unlock this. And that'll help us a little with the money. Which is starting to become a concern. I think we will not build any more military and instead just try and chill on that front. The upgrade to barracks is good warfare XP. So we'll keep. Barracks is cheaper. I think we build knowledge. It'll give us plus nine knowledge. We can also levy the workers here. I think I like levying the workers. We'll try and figure out some projects and what places need help. Next turn. Trevornum, again, we I don't think we want to build any more. But kind of tempted to build a keep. To help on the defense with these guys, and then maybe let's do that afterwards. How does this game compare to Civ series? I think Civ's probably better, but this is, like, much more novel, right? So, like, if you played a ton of Civ, I think you'd probably enjoy this, and you would not have already, like, gotten super used to this, right? Alright, I think that... Oh, looks like they have a cannon. Looks like their Schwartz is as big as ours. Um... I don't think this this is going to do it here. They're not going to be able to do much with this unit. Kind of tempted to go after this unit then with this guy. I don't think they're also I also don't think they're going to collapse on us. I think we'll just let this guy actually no, let's not let him get away here. Let's go after him here. And push him out. Let's also restore that. And then I think we win that. Here. God, that cannon full sends me every time. Oh, whoa, that guy's caked up. What is this about? What is this? A Spartan? Bro, how's it so strong? Holy shit. No! That Spartan was hella strong. That's nonsense. Oh, we didn't notice this guy. This guy's probably gonna be a problem. We could march out from here. I think we're just gonna keep the city guard in there. I think we go after these guys here. What is this? Is this a heater? It's a leader, okay. We haven't really utilized leaders that much. What do you think of your first full day against the game? My campaign, I lost uh, my first vassal to barbs. It definitely seems really tough. And it seems tough because they're giving huge bonuses to the AI, which... Right, because the AI has a way bigger army than us. And I think we have more cities and more eco than the AI. So I'm not sure how it is that they have a way bigger army. Not sure how I feel about it, you know what I mean? I feel some kind of way, you know what I mean? Trevornum is shrinking, but that's because chaos. Alright, I think that... I mean, to be fair, we could come out and rumble. I don't think we want to... We kind of don't want this to get sacked. That'd really suck. Because we lose all of our progress here. But I think that they get uh, several militia, so I don't think they get sacked in one go. Yeah. Oh, let's unpack this. So 
So we already, yeah, it looks like we could use another frontliner. So we're going to do this and this. Deal with the rebels. And then send them to take on Bello Horizonte. Oh, it looks like we're at Diplomacy Cab. So maybe we spawn a merchant in Ravenna. And look to send this over wherever this goes. So I think they'll be decreasing now here in unrest. Yeah, a little bit at a time, but that's fine. We could maybe make a outpost here so that we could go to left or right easier. Spartans are tough and get two uh, and get two bonuses to being fortified. Yeah, might be starting units like Dev Six, Civ Six on Deity. Yeah, we're just using the standard difficulty though. So, like, I feel like it shouldn't be like that on standard, you know what I mean? Alright, we're gonna try and run away through here. We might have to bring that guy back, though. Or use the special power to come back. Looks like they pushed us around a little bit. Oops, okay, we lost our guy. A pike and a knight at each region? I mean, I think we have enough city guards to deal with that, but I think that's... Uh, hopefully they don't won't raid too much stuff. Well, that seems like a lot of guys, actually. We... Oh, that's... One of those is a pike, one of those is a knight. Okay. I mean, I think the city regions can tolerate this. I hope. Uh, why'd they come there? I don't think we go after the cannons. I think we just get this guy wiped. Spartan hurts, man. Bro. That seems like super not to him. <laughs> he also had a leader with him, though. So maybe that's what's, why he's like kind of caked up. I think we want to keep most of the guys in there. Maybe we want this guy to come out here. Join up with them. That's fine. Fine enough. All of these guys go after these guys. Watching the cannon shoot the thing just like full sends me. Looks like that should be... And then he's almost done. Hmm. I guess we just come in here and let him come. Just keep these guys fortified. I think we got some rebuilding to do. The toolsmith was destroyed. Not the toolsmith, not my gumdrop buttons. Alright, so we definitely could get rid of this forest. Does anyone know how to get rid of forests? I know you can do it, because someone... People are upset that the IGN reviewer... Was, uh... Didn't understand the things. They're at limit, anyways. They're growing fine. They're growing fine. And 
in fact, metal. I mean, we have a bunch of points. Okay, so let's actually take a closer look at some cities here. And see who's working these. So Alexandria has a bunch of people working non-pro jobs. So let's try and get them better jobs in Alexandria, huh? Let's see if we have any spare goods. So we have copper. So we can make an iron thing. And we have a bunch of marble. Okay, so we would want maybe stone cutters. What does the furnace take? One copper or iron to make ingots. So we can make ingots here. So let's maybe do that here. And then let's also maybe do some stone work. I think we move one of these guys to Verona, just in case. And what can we... we would want to be able to turn the coal up. We're especially making stoneworks faster. I think we want to put a stoneworks there, and obviously we can't. Alright, let's see if there's other areas where there's a bunch of people working like this. Like, Trevornum doesn't... People are already, like, Keely in the stuff. Persepolis has someone working a scrubland, so let's take a look at Persepolis. And we are seeing that we are getting flour. Oh, but we're not making bread. Is that because someone's standing on the bakery? It's because someone's standing on the bakery. Um... And they're at pop limit. Alright, let's look at another place. So we have two people working for us in Nicomedia. Yeah, we gotta find out how to clear these forests. Let's make logging camps. Conversion needs- oh, they're on Matt because he's sitting on that. Yeah, okay, fair. We're out of points. Alright. Time to get rid of the dudes. Kind of annoying, we're gonna have a bunch of battles and then, yeah, we're gonna need to repair a bunch of stuff. I think we're in okay shape, though. It's an engineering power in age four. We don't see it. Chop wood. Do we not have the tech? Is that maybe the problem? Well, we did flip a coin to go age of intolerance, so we're gonna do that first and then we'll come back. But I assume we just don't have the tech for it then, yeah? Oh, we should have ran that guy away. The outpost guy. Didn't even think of it. Rip the dream. We can't go through Boston, so we would like that guy to move, yeah? Looks like we're holding them off in all the spots. We have culture power too. Uh, looks like they just like loot everything. That's kind of grim. All right, I think we could put them down here and not lose anyone. I think we could go after this. 
without losing anything. The cannon is a little scary, but we have 278 versus our 142. I just think we'd probably lose this guy, huh? But maybe we just don't have that guy. And maybe we instead have this guy. Oh, and that's, it's got a Spartan too, or that's a leader. All right. There we go. Kind of like how the combat works where it goes front to back or whatever. I think we're pushing now. Yeah, let's fortify. What is this? Is that ours? No, it's not. Whose is it? Oh, it's the barbs or whatever. Yeah, I think there were a few attacks here. I think that, let's see, city guards at 72%. I think we'll be able to hold all that off. They sacked that there, which kind of sucks. Yeah, this is highly, highly disruptive, man. We'll need to come back for that log clearing thing. We just want to be logging all of these ones, and then we want to clear the rest. Persephilus, what can we do? Yeah, we don't want to build any more military. We're barely making money. Actually, we're probably losing money. Okay, we're... But part of this is we need thing to rebuild things. Nicomedea... Build a watch. I think everywhere is yeah, are we we're accumulating unrest here anyways, so a lot here, but that's because we're under siege. Enemy units. Oh it's not just because we're under siege, it's just also a vibe. Um yeah, we have workshop and the watch. Let's rush that. And then the watch will be a little bit faster. A little bit spooky because we're not making a lot of money. 28 chaos, why is your chaos so high? Because we founded a religion without having any access to religion, and so people's mad. Leather converted into anything I can't find to use. Please stop, make a custom nation of skibbity toilet. Skibbity, it do be toiletin'. Looks like we maybe have to, or actually, let's go this way, and then we'll go through the water. Those guys. A little bit rough here. Are we going to have to actually go out and whack them? We might have to go out and whack them. That sucks. Um, let's whack the knights, maybe? And then we'll fortify up. Um, looks like we're done whacking them here, so... Let's just take a look around. And, uh... Fix any improvements that are damaged. We're not done resisting here. Pretty close to done resisting here. Um... God, we maybe want to build a cavalry contingent somewhere to be able to deal with all this. I think we're gonna send these guys around. All right, looks like they've finally been all been pushed out here. Let's move here. Let's restore.
all these. Which should actually restore a huge chunk to our economy. Oh, we see these guys trying to sneak through. I think we're gonna go after these guys then. Are there barbs? Hmm. Maybe we send these guys to s in the direction of Stockholm, because we have this direction covered with this army. Kind of a little reluctant to split the armies, though. Alright. The IGN reviewer was not entirely wrong, though. I mean, it's difficult to remove. I think you need the tech and then the thing, right? That's how this goes? Alright, we finished the town center, so I think we're gonna, yeah, workshop next. And we're exporting the food here. Are they not working it? Oh, because the freaking guys are standing on it. That makes sense. Well, we know we're gonna want to build mines here, but we don't have the, the juice for it just yet, so... Thanks USA, helping us out. Looks like, do we, okay, it looks like we didn't lose any units here. And our stone pit is assisted. I think we wanted to put a pyramid there. Oh, looks like there is more units. We could take them out, or we could try and push. I think we try and push. And then... Wow, we have so much warfare XP. I think we upgrade and then push through here. Yeah. Oh, they don't even have walls or, like, a front line or anything. And then, yeah, they're just, oh, it feels like there's even more of them than there was before. I think we could do this. I think we bring this guy back, or these two guys back. I think if that's, uh... Okay. I think we're in okay shape. I think we also want to make saws and wood here at some point, but we're not going to do it within facing the troops, like, right there, so just so they can loot it. Toot it and loot it. You know what I mean? I think we're going to spread out. And these guys will go for Stockholm directly. I think we repaired everything here. No, we didn't. The repair cost is costly. Nice, nice with the tinkerer in back there. Oh, look at this guy helping us out, going after this. I think we just clap him anyways. Um, Age of Intolerance is coming along quite nicely. We have some diplomacy. We can spawn a merchant. I think we maybe want to spawn an envoy in Persepolis. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we'll just leave that there. Because if you're not using your thing, you're losing it. Uh, we could spawn a settler. We already have so many cities. Although I don't know if we want to integrate these, so maybe spawning a settler makes sense. Her review was not only about the tree things that was wrong, but she made a lot of other points. 
Ursa, Ryan did a fantastic video explaining the min-maxing playing against Grandmaster bots. I think you would do a deep vibe log gasolina. Hey, Dark Synth. Good evening, sir. To you as well. We only have one Tinkerer. Feels like there's kind of a long chain of stuff to make the Tinkerer, to be honest. We need the tools. We need the iron into the tools. We need the ore into the tools. To be fair, we could get started on that chain here. So we have iron. But do we need two iron? I felt like we needed two iron. Toolsmith, let's see. Converts two ingots into two tools. Yeah, so we need another. We could make a mine. We could make another mine, to be fair. Um, like right here. I think they make copper ingots even if you don't have the, the good sources. Yeah, here we'll just, we'll get to the coast and then we'll, we'll set out and we'll make a trade route over there. We'll just fortify Regent Idol, Nicomedia. They are growing. They're gonna need an aqueduct. Unrest is going up, but I think part of this is because enemy units. Or oh, I guess only one of it's because enemy units. Rough. I guess we'll follow that with the uh, city guard. What's your early opinion on the game? I'm trying it this weekend. Mixed reviews so far. I my feelings are mixed as well. Uh, but overall, it's a, a positive. Like, I was excited. I wasn't planning on doing a stream today, and then I decided to stream because I wanted to play the game. And so, um... Alright, so let's get all this back up and running. Because it looks like we have survived. In Persepolis here. Looks like we got a couple battles, but we survived them. Looks like this guy's just parking it, so we're gonna come through and deal with him. Looks like these guys just fortify. This will, this is not allowed, it's illegal. Hopefully he can't, yeah, he can't do anything about the toolsmith unless he stands on the tile for an extended period of time, because that would be stupid if it didn't work like that. This guy's not gonna attack us, so we'll take him out. So we can push forward afterwards. Let's see here. I think we fortify. Here, I think we push further. Looks like we can just go right in. So. I mean, maybe we can take this. I don't know. We could raise the improvement to gain some wealth. Wow, this is all that's defending here? I mean, they get plus 20% here, but... I guess they had no guys. Wow. Okay. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, like, this is the first run that's felt decently... I think you missed repairing the pyramid. Oh, I think you're right. Thank you so much. And that's our nice, nice pyramid. That's our big, nice pyramid. You are correct. So we have some more points here. So we were thinking of making paper. So to do that, we would want to make wood and then a paper maker here. But we don't need that here because we have the religious stuff here. We wanted to clear this, but we can't clear it without a power. I think these guys are getting scent paper, but it's just one thing of paper. And it would need to be two. Hmm. The Cahokia mounds seem a lot better now in this run than they did in the other run, or they would be better if we had it.
think we'll send this guy out over this way. He maybe links up with this squad. Oh no, they don't need anybody. You guys need an additional guy? They need they could use an additional guy, so I guess he'll send he'll come this way. Silly me. We'll fortify there. I think that yeah. These guys can fortify, use culture power. Alright, I think we do want to create towns. Kind of tempted to make a town here, but it'll just get sacked immediately. Um, <laughs> I forgot we could buy tiles, because we could buy this and we can... Yeah. Um... We could make a town further this way. As well, like another mining town operation here. I think that Persepolis was having growth problems. So let's make a town for them. And the question is, do we want them to expand here? Or this way? I think here is good. So let's make a town. I can't remember if there's a road there before, but there's a road now. Hey, we get a nice event. After so many chaotic events. Man, we have so much chaos accumulating every turn. Locks the Colossus. Yeah, we'll take the Colossus. Well, let's continue the war. God, they offer peace like after they've already been uber clapped, man. Miami, the capital of the United States. The timeline has fallen, everyone. It's so jover. Miami's the capital of the U.S. This is not the this is not the timeline we signed up for, gentlemen. Where's that one stack? Yeah, we'll get there fast enough. I feel like we just conquer everything now. Part of the chaos is also us taking stuff. Let's, like, we could take a look. Can we take a look at why the chaos is changing? Plus I think we're gonna actually build over this. Cause there's more than one thing that we want. Oh, but we don't, here, yeah. And then we'll build, these guys need religious stuff. Requires religion, converts to paper. Oh, how much excess paper do we even have here, though? We're exporting one, so we could we would need a paper maker, too. Maybe we're just supposed to log here and export the logs? We would need more paper making. God, we're gonna get a negative event again here in just a second. Or a chaos event. I'm 
we got a bunch of people working in the forests. I mean, we could make paper here and then export the religious paper. Instead of the olives to Nicomedia. We would need to make two sawmills. Two bit paper makers. So I think the paper makers only make one. Converts one logs into one paper, yeah. We have one paper maker here, but we're consuming the paper. What are we consuming? The no, we're exporting the paper. We just have excess logs. Ton of excess logs. Ah! It's a complex game. I think it's gonna take a few hours of gameplay to really learn it. Maybe 30 plus. I mean, like, yeah. What does Chaos do? It gives you bad events. It fills up this bar and then gives you negative events. So when we had all those barbs all over the place, that was from the Chaos. And to be fair, I think I think what we're gonna need is we're gonna need uh, like a small cavalry contingent to deal with those. And maybe we switch these guys over to making a few knights. The Colossus. War for culture production, one per nation. Got it. Probably a building for the capital, eh? We could piece out Brazil. Don't hate that. Is this Brazil? I forget. Where's our diplomacy tab? Jesus. We probably should have had that on the whole time. Um, I feel like... <laughs> How do we open diplomacy, my guys? <laughs> yeah. They really hate our guts. We're age ahead of these guys, it looks like, maybe? We're age of kings, age of kings. No, we're the same age. We're a little bit more powerful than them. But the US, they're, they're fighting us and the US at the same time. The US isn't really helping. We're a lot more powerful than Sweden, allegedly. Hmm. Looks like they're having some problems, though, with the unrest. Why are we... I wish we could discern why we're getting so much chaos. Unrest in a region, not meeting. I think it's because we're not reading mutual regional needs. Oh wait, what was that last bit? Overexpansion or fighting inside your territory? Yeah, I guess it's all that kind of combined. Maybe we're supposed to peace out. Well, now we're overexpanded, right? Terribly. So maybe we peace out with Brazil. Like, I don't know how I feel about trying to hold this high spot. And maybe the, the over-expansion front, maybe we do want to just piece out Sweden here. 
It feels bad because we have two armies, but... Yeah, religion's the huge one, is we have, a uh, We have religious needs, but we're not, like, satisfying it at all. We- I think founding a religion was a huge mistake on my part. So we basically have, like, no... Like, this is our source of making religion, basically. Uh, and we don't have, like, the paperwork stuff set up, really. Yeah, I don't think there's another way to... ...really make religion stuff other than the paper. We're exporting one paper to here. I guess we- if we could export another paper here. The, they also don't have any paper production themselves. Which would satisfy the need. But if we took... S I don't know how much of this is because we took, like, these extra cities, you know? We are just trying to be chill. Religion is pretty dumb since there are very few sources of religious happiness. Like, yeah, almost nothing that we can get. It feels like. Everyone knows the capital of the USA, Miami. So these guys I'm tempted to actually just keep kind of around here. Try to keep the unrest low, but... Yeah, the fact that we can't fulfill the religious need basically at all is, like, super rough. I guess here we could fulfill it ourselves by making one of those scribes, but it's only... It takes two paper. We only have one paper. Like, the amount of things we need to get one religious paper, one religious text... Like, okay, uh, the... So, we can convert two paper into two texts. To get the paper, we need... <clears throat> we need, uh, once, uh, we need two sawmills to get two paper. Oh, no, wait, two, we need two sawmills, two paper makers, so that's four workers. Uh, and then we make this religious sky, scribe, that's five, which is gonna... So it takes two and a half workers per religious text, and we really need these... But, like, we don't have any place to put the things. I mean, we could export... This guy's getting paper exported to him. I guess we could see if there's a place that can export their logs. That's not using a do domestic export. We could stop exporting the olives, which is kind of awkward, because, you know, there's a, there's a press here. Or there's two presses here. Or no, wait, the olives are getting exported over to here, Nicomedia. Which there's a, a press, which is using this and the olives that are getting exported. So if we could get... Mm -hmm. Two paper into two texts means that you can also convert one paper into one text. Yeah, but were you using a worker to... Oh, I guess I, I see what you mean. All right, let's actually just not export the paper here then. Let's export the logs to Trevornum. Oh no, wait, let's export the paper.
Are you sure, my guy? Oh yeah, okay, no, we're good. Yep. Wait, what? Oh, we went- oh, fuck, we're done. Where's the undo button? Where's the undo button? We didn't want this. We don't want the knowledge. We want the religious scribe. God, that's so asinine. Alright. We did that undo? No, it didn't undo. I think we're gonna move these guys up here, so they're in a good spot to respond to a uh, potential thing. These guys should be able to catch up. Nicomedia. Atlantium. I think this is our coastal thing. Yikes. Let's make a town center. And then a crane. Oh, we have granary next. That's probably fine. Alright, looks like Brazil is sieging us. Destroys crane. Oh, that's super mild. Engineering XP, we are completely filled up on. Diplomatic XP. Why do these guys have upkeep? I'll just spawn another merchant here. And then here, we will try and make a Oh, we can't afford it yet. Rip. Next turn, we'll make a religious scribe. Actually, we already hit our negative event here, so... Do we even want the knight? Nah, probably. I think we go Colossus in the capital next. Actually, we could probably upgrade to barracks and then build the knight. That's probably better. Because we're not going to need them to deal with the event. We don't want to pay the upkeep on them anyways. So this maybe makes more sense. Alright, so we'll be unpacking next turn. But also the siege itself they just won't like. Iron Prospector spawns in Rome. Where should we... Oh, we needed more iron ingots here anyways. Um, the only thing I can think of is we would maybe want to make it next to a mining town. Which we have a mining town over here, but there's not another hill ne next to it. So I think we... Yeah, I think we prospect for iron. Gather the iron with a mine. Gets two iron. Big nice. And then... How are we getting the iron ingot before? Over in the copper or the... So now we have two iron ingots. Okay. 
and we'll make Oh, we can't make the other thing. All right, fine, fair enough. Oh, let's see if we can, if Brazil wants peace. I don't know if they even win this, but we're kind of over this war. These guys have the cannon. Rip. Let's see what we're dealing with. Alright. Oh, we could also unpack the same movement? Hell yeah, brother. These guys, we have a, let's see if we can get over there. We have a bunch of trade routes already, but let's try and get onto the coast. Also, you, can't you make abbeys or castles or something like that? Oh, you know what? I think we can make abbeys, but we don't have the tech for it. That's probably it. You can make regions into vassals after you conquer them to not get the penalties. I, I think they're already vassals, yeah. We didn't upgrade them to cities. Like, these guys are vassals. <sighs> Big damage to us. Can we get in here, though? Win, lose, draw, take in light damage, dealt heavy damage. I think we like the sound of that. So we're just gonna get bombarded again. Let's upgrade this guy because he's kind of out on his own. And we didn't get bombarded from there. So let's just, oh, we are unpacked. So I think we just go for it here. Oh, they have a massive wall, but it doesn't matter. Stone wall, because we got Trebs, baby. Yeah, there's if they had garrison actual units and not just the city guard, we would be in trouble here. So this is a huge source of our chaos game. Conquering the places. It is just a territory right now though. Maybe we take this and then we let Sweden out, rather than complete wiping them. This might have been worth getting, to be honest. I think we just want to get our age up, though. In peace. We're at peace with them. Tempted to walk it back here. I think there will be the most, the easiest place for us to respond to stuff. Once we get some sort of negative event. Ooh, it looks like they had a little bit of a thing. Sweden sent us a gift after we sacked their city. That's kind of awkward. Awkward. Maybe we take this guy out here. That way he's not part of the assault. And we assault with these guys. Yeah. Oh, this tower's not gonna do anything, is it? 
Oh, no, it did something. Alright, fair. Alright, maybe let's take a vote. Do we let Sweden off the hook here? For the people who are on the Twitch, let's get you the link to the YouTubes if you wanted to take part in the poll. I gotta, I gotta figure out a better way to do a unified poll though. But there is the link in the YouTube or in the Twitch to the YouTube. Um, you know, we took their two most important cities. It appears we could content ourselves with that expansion, or, 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 or we could not. I think either way. What do we got here? So we got one ore, and I think we need two ore. To make uh, the toolsmith worth it. Converts two ingots. So let's do a furnace. And then the next one... We will make a toolsmith and then a tinkerer, and that'll be our second tinkerer, set up in Alexandria. I don't even know what, okay, what type of town is this? We could probably upgrade the town, huh? I guess we're going to set it farming. It's kind of awkward. But we have all this stuff around it. So I guess the towns are only going to provide, like, rural bonuses and not city bonuses. Which is currently what we're experiencing. What is this? What is this? Sweden. Why are you doing that? Well, I don't think we're going to let them have an outpost here. In either case, so... I know, I know we're voting to let them off the hook, but that seems... <laughs> that outpost seems awkwardly placed at best. What's for pizza today, Generalist? I don't think we're going long enough to order the pizza. Also, we would just have leftover pizza. We could not reorder the pizza. Persepolis... Uh, what are we supposed to build here? Let's do that. Nico Medea, we finished the Privy Council. And maybe we make our last tinker over here, even. I think that we wanted to... Mm, uh, we're out of gov... We've maxed out gov XP. That's awkward. Um, so we could integrate another thing. Obviously not Stockholm or one of these. They're pretty far from integration. Um... These guys are too. You know what, I think we're supposed to make a settler, huh? Because we're going to be losing this Imperial Dynasty stuff soon. We're not going to have this anymore. So, I don't think it's worth spending. So I think we're supposed to spawn a settler. So I guess we'll spawn it here. We're just not going to settle yet. I think we want to settle somewhere over here or something. Or over here. Haven't really scouted this territory out. Did we lose our scout? No, we didn't. Where's our scout? Our scout's attached. Let's detach the scout. Scout, you go this way. Okay. 
Let's see how the vote for Mercy is going. Maybe we can give them this outpost, but I really don't like that it's going to crimp our ability to expand. Which seems kind of awkward. I would like to change places with you guys. Thank you. Maybe you guys voted no mercy anyways. Uh, looks like you guys are voting for mercy, but only nine votes. If it's just by a one vote margin, I'm kind of inclined to flip a coin over it. But maybe I should listen to the will of the people. Yeah, I think we probably let him off the hook then. Capital attack. Hmm, we just rebuild. Do we even feel we should tolerate this wood, this this outpost too? That outpost is an affront to my sentiments. Oh, now it's 12 votes and you guys vote no. See, the outpost is, the outpost specifically in my mind has to go, but I think the rest is kind of chill, I guess. Age of intolerance time, baby. It's begun. Spawn Rebels 5 on regional capital targets. Or you could pay a bunch of gold. I think the, it's better just to pay the gold, because we, we lost so much uh, development points we're just rebuilding after the last rebellion and it's intolerance time baby culture earned from religious population uh, follow your state religion is doubled sharing a religion improves diplomatic relation not sharing a religion reduces it chaos gained from conquering regions is reduced oh baby <laughs> building missions specialized by outposts provide a culture bonus the new social fabric system's unlocked. New government's unlocked. Well, you guys said no. We have mechanics for, for saying no. We're gonna say no. Age of intolerance, baby. Okay, sure. Social fabric is now available. Social fabric is a way for you to customize your nation. There are six social fabric bonuses, each one related to domain. Access to the panel by selecting the social fabric on the left. Some rewards are directly uh, adjust a uh, specific track, but social fabric wildcards allow you to choose which fabric you want to improve. Thank you, uh, Napos Rager, for the follow. Big nice. Um... In addition, completing the final ideal in the national spirit or legacy provides you with a uh, relevant social fabric point. Expeditions. You can train your explorer units uh, to upgrade your scouts into explorers. And we can do expeditions. Cool. Age of Intolerance unlocks dragoons and explorers and grand theater and house improvement. All right, all right, all right, all right. And then I'm assuming we'll have more less, intol less tolerant things. All right, so... Ooh, what's this? Alright, we can upgrade this housing improvement. We already have max housing available here in the capital. But we can upgrade this. I mean, there's no reason to. So we won't. Alright. Let's say smell you later to these guys. And then I think that, well, don't we get a capital shot? Or the capital only get to shoot once? 
Hmm. Thought we got a shot out from them. I forget there's Swedens over here, too. Um... I think we upgrade this guy. I wonder if it's Explore XP? It is. It's quite a pretty penny, though. And maybe we actually want this guy to come and do work over here. So let's do that. French is not my strong point. No, it is not. Je suis un chat. That's French for I'm very handsome. Okay, I think we want organized religion so we can so we can get our religious need met. <laughs> you don't say. So we can pass tolerance as a tolerant social fabric point. Community. Oh, that's gonna add to social fabric, ingenuity, tenacity. Okay, okay, okay. Now don't we have we can peacefully rev, right? Radical Inquisition, hell yeah, brother. So we gotta get the culture going, though. I think we maybe start setting the settler out. I think we're gonna be finishing, like, uh, a night, yeah, perfect. Perfect. Just what we wanted. The knight to link up over here. With the settler. As the settler kind of comes over. Let's come here. Oh, I guess the USA is not right there. And then no mercy for Sweden. Tolerate this. Actually, I think we wait one turn here. Oh, let's pack. That's fair. Let's pack there as well. Modify social fabric. So, we have one ingenuity, and we have two points to spend. Oh, baby. So... <sighs> research cost, expansion cost, unrest reduction. Okay. This is kind of... Mm. Here, let's go back to the capital. Well, actually, if we're going to use improvement points, we'd actually want to do this a little bit more. It's just that I think that the improvements... Well, the more point reductions you get, the more valuable they are. Right? And we're gonna get another one of these. So I think we actually push this. The reason being is we can use our, we can turn our production, instead of turning it into uh, these points, we can also turn it into research. So we can turn it into research to pay for the research. And then we get to make a huge use of our improvement production tiles. So I like the idea of doing this. And unrest reduction would be nice. Unrest reduction per point minus five. That's a that's a pretty good amount. Actually. So that'll get bigger the bigger we get. I think we just push this though. Because the bonuses get more valuable the more of them you have, yeah. Let's do this. And then, we wanted to get the tinkerer going on this guy. And now we have two ingots, so we can make tools, and then, so we just need to make tools and tinkerer. I don't think it matters where we make it. I guess we're supposed to make it closer to here, so... Um, toolsmith. And then we're going to need to wait a turn to make the tinkerer. 
we are making tools now out of there. Speaking of, what are we producing here? So maybe oh, we can build a grand theater, arts XP. Let's build the Colossus here. That gives us production. We did unlock the ability to build it. Might as well build it. Nicomedia. Let's get the income up a little bit, I suppose. Hey, there's our capital attack, baby. So, I guess we'll let them sit there, which is maybe good, maybe not. Yeah, they're running. They're running for the hills. I don't think they're gonna get to the hills in time. We send you gifts, says the United States. So now the, they're buddy-buddy with us. Religious buildings. Alright. <laughs> we kind of needed those last time. So, note to self, don't found a religion if you can't make any religious buildings. Alright, we're gonna get them before they get away. I actually kind of lo love the combat system, to be honest. I don't really like being able to super outmaneuver the AI. Like, when the AI is real dumb, like, not a huge fan of that. Um. Alright, we don't have enough to unpack. We have enough to attack, though. Do we think we just win this? Maybe. We could also just wait a turn and have two people on the case I think they fire at us though this is their capital I think it looks like we lost a guy got rid of the keep or got rid of the castle so maybe we'll pull those guys back the explorer is ready to explore. Ah. Uh, didn't we have another explorer somewhere? Oh, they died. They got clapped. That's right. Miami, the capital of the USA. It hurts every time. Just looking at this up here while kind of panning over the cities to make sure that we don't have unrest growing anywhere. We could also build a tinkerer now. That's our second tinkerer. And I think that the next our next construction will go towards making a tinkerer here. Looks like we already we have stone cutter, so we're gonna need to build two mines, and then with those two mines, two furnaces, and then a tinkerer. Although, yeah, and we could rush culture here. I kind of like that. A little concerned about hitting a chaos event. Diplo, we can't afford the tolerance. I guess we could try integrating a little bit more. So we're going to need a bigger cap in order to do that. Is there anyone we can upgrade? Yeah, let's upgrade him. I guess we could bribe units to go away. Uh, we could spawn a merchant too. You can spot a merchant and send it to Brazil. Brazil seems to be a little bloody buddy with us now. Gotham must be destroyed, and by Gotham I mean this outpost. Um. Yeah, baby. Let's go. 
God, it's like we have a <laughs> we have an age of intolerance, right? And then we're dragoons are unique to this age, I think. Oh, they're probably way better than Cav. Here we are building Cav. Uh, I think we're building Cav over here. Or it's in the queue. So, yeah. I think we just finished the knight, but we're sad about it. Knight probably eventually upgrades into, like, a tank or something. Um. Oh, yeah. We wanted to rush this so we could peacefully rev. Now we have some choices. So we could go Republic, Republic of Rome. Republics build fewer, more populous, powerful regions around their uh, palaza, palaza, Lollapaloozas, uh, generating extra luxuries and other regional needs. I don't think that's gonna be good for us. Feudal monarchy greatly improves all aspects of its loyal vassals, all uh, pledged loyalty. We have a lot of vassals now, or empire. Build naval dominance and leverage that power to gain culture and wealth by conquering, integrating, and exploiting vassals on the warpath. We have very few uh, ones there. So let's just take a look. We're probably going feudal monarchy, but let's take a look. Increases domain XP. Oh, we should have gotten this rather than spending the points. Increases domain XP maximum to 300. Um, vassal prosperity per turn. Vassal income. Vassal pop growth. I mean, we have a lot of vassals, but this seems like 100% vassal-oriented, right? So let's... Oh, we have to... Oh, we have to pick that. We can't run around and look around. Alright, let's take a look at Republic. Unlocks the Lollapalooza. Um, domestic export slots. Food, sanitation, housing. So this would be nice for building tall by the looks of it. And then Empire. Uh, upon conquering a capital, plus 30 culture, domestic export slots, so that's nice, governor's office. 50% uh, vassal integrate faster. Vassalized enemy capitals integrate faster. Interesting. Naval units deal extra damage. Your navy units bombard. But it looks like we don't have to get the navy stuff, right? And then minus one culture upkeep per region. And then empire. So I think maybe we go empire then. Or we could be a little more chill. I, don't, I think the point... I think we're not going to be building tall. SPQR. SPQR says Charles, that's Empire. Pickles, hey, how's it going? It's, uh, it's going pretty good today for us. We are continuing the run that we left off with last time, and we had our first successful kind of fight against the AI. But I still think they get way too many units. But then they, like, wood chipper their units away. So it's just, you have to be able to survive the first, like, salvo of, like, units. I think we're going to go Empire here. And then we unlock this. Minus 50% integration cost. And then I think maybe we get this too. Because we're about to take a capital. Oh, it's any capital. Not just capital capital. Man, the way that a region capital is like... Yeah, okay. It's not a capital in the traditional sense. I think... Here. Okay, we can build a crane. Build a market. We like the temple. We need food in Alexandria. Aren't we shipping Alexandria food? I guess we could start shipping up food uh, instead of the other place. So let's do that. 
I think they were shipping them out from Persepolis. And instead of sending it to Ravenna, let's send it to Alexandria. And now we're doing much better in the food regards. Um, and Ravenna, of course, will grow much slower, but that's fine. They are, of course, getting some food from there and there. But we wanted to build a mine. We don't have... Yeah, let's just pass. Homeland is someone's first city. Yeah. I'm, I'm not used to the nomenclature. We'll continue the war, because this was voted. Diplomacy in the Age of Intolerance. In the Age of Intolerance, nations have better diplomatic relations with those of the same state religion and worse relations with those of different. Because religion spreads aggressively in the Age of Intolerance, making unrest particularly dangerous, it's important for nations to have good standing with their neighbors and negotiate to, sh uh, to share the same religion. Okay. Religion adopted reward. The rewards for having a nation state religion adopted by all of its citizens is doubled. So we're going to have to focus on religion. A little bit here. Wait, why can't you go in here? Wait. I think we go here. Oh, we still didn't get it? Yikes. Maybe we can get it with this? Here. Okay, yeah, we can. That's the big end. That's the big end. We take those. I'm so confused why I can't march into this, though. Do I not have the tech for marching into deep fort? I don't have the tech for marching in. That's funny. That's cute. That's real cute, putting an outpost in the deep forest, huh? Real cute, my guy. Real cute, my guy. So I guess we have to decide where we want to go with this guy. You don't really like the look of anything up there. Maybe we go south and we can scout it out a little bit. Please don't take us. Yeah, we just gotta wait here, huh? Or we could embark and then disembark. We could actually demolish that with something small, so let's just embark with the idea of disembarking here next turn, and then we can push this way to the left. Capital can attack. Big nice. You survived the barbs, yet not uh, yet to worry about the AI. I've completely decimated my army against the barbs. They keep rolling up with a single unit that has 44 strength and can solo my 3 stack. Yeah, it seems like getting on the spears really early is really important. You never got scouting? That's funny. I'm torn which of the first three... I think the first three techs is contingent. I think you probably always get the research tech, though. But it's... I, I think you often come back for the techs. We should have definitely come back for techs. Dele dealing with religious unrest. Oh, no. Uh, but we definitely should have come back for this tech earlier. But we wanted to come back to not arts, organized religion. So we're coming back to this deck. We're not even researching an age of intolerance deck because we need the religious buildings, to be honest.
I think Sweden's kind of done here. I think Sweden's done here, boys. We'll send for that city. Looks like everyone's Hindu, though. Or, well, I guess not everyone. Most guys are Hindu. These guys aren't Hindu. Looks like we're not... We're looking at this up in the top left and looking for unrest. Just kind of scrolling through the Empire a little bit. Okay. We're not having any unrest. We win. Oh, we researched scouting. <laughs> we researched scouting, everyone. Um. Sure. So now we can do an expedition. Pay five XP. Alright, ask about El Dorado. I think we'll do. Oh, is that it? Alright. But I'm guessing the exploration XP is going to be particularly uh, useful in those instances. Alright. Modify social fabric. I think we're supposed to stack just a ton of ingenuity, to be honest. The reason being is that it gets progressively... A, a percent save gets progressively more useful the more of them you have. I'm gonna put two, down two mines. Here. And we don't even have enough pop to really utilize that. And we're shrinking now? Yikes. Uh... Oh, maybe we go back to exporting them the food, huh? Here. Let's get Ravenna big and big and strong. And now we don't need you here. So we'll go work in the mines. And we have a bunch of ore, so we could do a metal smith. I think we wanted to make a pyramid here, though. That way we would grow a little bit faster. Get access to stuff like the fish here, which would help us become Miss Independent. All right. This place is now idle, but we got stuff to do. We could upgrade to Emperor's Palace. I think we... Let's start pushing the exploration XP stuff, though. Um, this has just felt super trash for a while, but now I feel like we might want it. Certainly to try and showcase stuff of the game, I guess. We'll see what this looks like for us. Yeah, okay, this is just free. Oh no, we killed the bunch of pops. Whatever will we do? So we'll use these guys to clear out down here. I guess we'll clear these guys out here. Army destroyed. And then we'll be sending over this way. Um, we had the one explorer here. Where I think what we wanted to do was we wanted to clear this out.
But it looks like we can expedition again. We haven't completed it. So we can pay warfare experience. Ooh, looks like they might have a little bit more over there than we thought. Don't hate just kind of plopping down an intermediary territory between these two. Actually kind of do hate it, just kidding. Just kidding a little bit. Oh, hello. Time to deploy that. What does Emperor's Palace give us? Unrest Suppression, okay. More Gov XP, sure. Okay, I think I like that. I think we go Medieval University first, though. Persepolis, this is the food place. And we have 40 points here. 40 development points. Persepolis, we're getting extra grain? Than we thought we were? Did the farms get upgraded? Maybe we're supposed to make some more stuff? Hmm. I'm not sure how much I value the diplomacy XP here. Work one gold, which gives wealth. I don't even know if I think that's very good. This is the fish place. It's growing at a decent clip. We'll probably keep growing at a nice clip. Maybe we go this. Aqueduct. I think we're gonna want to create a town somewhere. I just don't know where. Maybe we could create a town over <laughs> somehow to try and get more fish. Unfortunately, we can't purchase this tile and make a crown here. Which would make sense. Some sense. Mm. Could create a town over here. Speaking of, I think we want the knight to put that down over there. Knight versus, what is this? Barbarian cab. But we could make one here. If we're not going to make a city here, I think we do like that. I guess we'd prefer it here? Slightly? Travernum's already got, like, a lot of help, though. Nicomedea's kind of doing okay. Do we want another town on Persepolis? Oh my god, I don't know what to do. The truth hurts. We could put another town on the capital, actually. I don't hate that. We could also make the town, like, right here. Make the town right here, and it'll expand out more here. We won't have to build a city over here, but we'll still get to expand this direction. I think I don't hate that. And we can make it a wood chop one. Although I guess it's not a very good wood chop one. We can chop the Amazon, as we always intended. 
And how are we do- Oh god, we're getting crushed on the food, though. Maybe we have to try and make farms in the capital, huh? A novel... solution. So we can build two farms and cook bread. They're not over farm tiles, but okay, how else are we supposed to get food here? We could export it to here. Now we're a little bit better on the food front. We don't have the production chain yet, but we can get to that. Um, oh, but we wanted to finish this in Ravenna first. Yeah, maybe we're supposed to... Yeah, we're, um, we're probably supposed to... Here, let's undo this. I think we're supposed to finish the Ravenna thing. Oh, we can undo both? Yeah, let's undo both. I think we're supposed to finish the Ravenna thing, because then we'll get be getting a discount. Because uh, then we'll be able to finish out if we get the tinker set up, so. Oh, to be fair, we can just build the tinker only. We don't need to build the thing that leads into the tinker. The tools. Although we maybe should. Yeah, because we would work for the tools instead of the stone cutter, which is going to be a little bit better. Okay. Unless we can't afford the tools. Can't afford the toolsmith. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What's this? What is that? Well, we can send this army to go, yeah, grab that barb camp, I guess. And we'll end the turn. Hello, how's the game? What are your impressions so far? I am super excited about a lot of the systems. I think a lot of the systems are really cool. I think it's not super well polished. There's a lot of, like, weird balance stuff. We'll allow the embossing. So that leaves, in my opinion, a little bit to be desired. But I think that I think that the game is... I think uh, I'm having a blast playing it. It's kind of my, my short one. How's the run today? Hopefully not crushing your soul. It's actually been going super good, continuing the run from yesterday. The final run. Or we're hoping. We've almost wiped Sweden clean off the map. We're working on it. Alright, so maybe... Well, I mean, there's a lot of tiles here. Maybe there's a world in which we want to grab... We go here. Maybe make a town here. At some point. Uh, I kind of don't like this as a settle spot though. Maybe we just embark. And move over here and look. Good yield night. Doing nightly things. Every night. I think you can get to the uh, get another point using engineering XP. Oh yeah, yeah, we can finish the the thing now. Oh, we can spawn iron prospectors too. Oh, bro, this changes everything. Bro. I didn't realize we could just spawn the Iron Prospector. Bro. Okay, we're gonna have to put it on hills, but like, damn, dude. this town and make it a mining town as well. 
get a little bit more production from what we're doing. So like, yeah, we're just constructing super fast now. Um, oh my god, definitely next we want to do food, because that's like what we're gated by. Okay, this guy, I think this will be the final expedition that we could do. And we could use Diplo XP or Warfare XP here. And this is going to be, yeah, the final one. So it looks like the Natives XP is going to be particularly good for that. Oh, did we fail the expedition? Oh, we might have failed the expedition, boys. The truth hurts. We're trying to heal up, but I think we heal up... As long as we're inside the territory, I think we heal up a little bit. Let's march out. The Colossus was completed in the capital. We will do that. And that. Man, I guess we really should have been pushing this a little bit more. I guess, well, it hasn't been super useful up until now. Let's do that. Have you never gone in the ocean? Uh, do you know about the salt water? Are the Romans a land only people? Currently they're a bit of a land only people, to be honest. I think we can get a little bit more vision. And then unload from the transport here. Yikes. Yikes. Look at this, telling us we have so many points. Spectacular. I think we would want to integrate these guys. Let's see what we have in the Empire thing. Governor's office, what does this do? All of your capitals gain an extra domestic export slot. That'd be super hot, to be honest. And we finished the research, thank god. Thank god we finished the research of discovering god. Okay, uh, do we want guilds? Market Square, Villa, Jeweler, Converts to Gold, ah, so that's a reason to have gold. Feudalism, I think we like the farming aspects of feudalism. Do we want to go machinery though, while well, we can? Deep Mine seems hot. We also could, like, make use of some of this stuff. Catapult unit. Let's do arts, at the very least, here. And then here... Uh, let's pay the engineering. We, we have a ton of the engineering XP. And then I think over here... I'm not mistaken, we will be completing the expedition. So this is the conclusion. Deepest part of the jungle, resolve expedition, exploration experience. On failure, destroy the explorer. Reset expedition, destroy the explorer. Success! Great success. That's, that's good, because he has a lot of things. So now we've finished the expedition into the Amazon rainforest. Super nice. Super kawaii. So now we have a bunch of these points as well. Love it. I won a bunch of sim games with culture victory. Without meeting people before, big nice. I like, uh. <laughs> you know what? We maybe want to buy, actually. Ingenuity. Oh, 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 oh. Why does it cost more now than it did before? Interesting. Oh, has it always been 300? Maybe it's always been 300. Wow, are we even... No, we are not getting shipped the food, but we want to get shipped the food. Oh, but now we can make the... Now let's make the things. Okay. So... Let's make a farm. Let's make a farm. 
Let's make a mill. And then let's make a bakery or an oven. Ooh. We need more flour. We need more wheat. Our farm is only giving us half a wheat. Work one wheat. Oh, we need more. We need to lock it in. Got it. The problem is we need one more pop to work that. I guess we're going to get that in just a second here, though. Okay. Is this game like Civ 6? It's, yeah, it's a lot like Civ 6. It's by the same devs, right? No, it's by C Prompt Games. I think it was 200 before. I thought it was 200 before. I wonder what made it increase. So what we're going to be looking for here is... We're looking to see if there's a lot of people working on improved tiles. So in Persepolis, there's a decent chunk. This is our food place, too. In Persepolis, I think there's excess wheat. I don't know why we're getting excess wheat. Are we getting two from the farms that are on the wheat? This makes two wheat. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. And this place is slated to go real fast, which is one of the reasons we're having some issues. Um... So what can we do here? Well, I guess, at the, for starters, we can mine out the this, the iron. And then maybe we want the iron prospector. Or maybe we spawn an iron prospector here. I don't think you can spawn iron there. Yeah, so we'll send him back this way. To spawn it on the hills. And this works, creates two iron. So we can also make a smelter. But we don't have enough uh, resources anymore, so that's perfect. All right. Let's get rid of that. Destroyed. Maybe an okay place to put... Uh... Oh, you know what? With Nicomedia, maybe we end up putting a town over here. It either be a town for there or a town for Stockholm. I don't think we're integrating Stockholm though. So Nicomedia town over here would be nice. Maybe we make the town here though. It's kind of a little bit rough. But you know what? I just realized we can make we can make ports here. We can make docks. Spawns a utility ship. Not that we can make a great use of the utility ship, but. That would let us to build stuff. Hmm. I wonder if docks have downstream reasons to build certain things. Would you recommend for Civ players? I think it's enjoyable. I think it depends on what your gaming budget is overall. Um, if you don't have a lot for gaming, then... Then maybe not. Oh, did we forget to pub... We're gonna pub. One sec, I'm just checking something. Okay, we did uh, publish the EU thing. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm having a ton of fun, but it also, like, I don't know how replayable it is. So, like, what if it's just, like, only super fun the first, like, one or two games, right? And the replayability sucks, and I, I just don't know how to make the thing. Feudal monarchy, the most OP government here, stronger than the last governments, really? I mean, we can't do that now, but... Yeah, but right now I'm thinking about Russian culture so that we can put a town for Nicomedia over here. And try and pick up some tiles. The thing is, we also desperately in Nicomedia need... I think we, maybe we make a dock. Alright, what's going on here? Do we have a lot of people? Yeah, we have people working on improved tiles. Yikes, a little bit. A little bit of yikes. I 
He's good enough. Let's get him going. Actually, yeah, let's let him heal. They'll be right next to each other. It'll be fine. How about the boys? Alright, we finish a plaza. And now we want to start building the holy sites. Plus one faith needed per pop. That sounds like something that's really bad long term. I think we're gonna reject the alliance. I think that they're only they only like us for our body. No, it's cause just cause we have a relatively powerful army, I think. Maybe they saw what we did to Sweden. They're like, we're not about that. We finished research on the arts, which is going to give us some more stuff to build, which is going to be good. Oh, and now we can make artists too. I think guilds was looking pretty good. We can upgrade some of those things. Villa. Jeweler. Maybe we want one of these new techs though. Indoctrination. Paper mill. Two logs, so this makes two logs into two paper. Okay. Kinda like that. Machinery is probably gonna give us the biggest bang for our buck though, no? A clear cut. Hmm. We don't necessarily have to be the first one to the Age of Enlightenment. Maybe we go feudalism. We're having like, well, are we having food problems? We kind of having food problems. Yeah, let's go this. This guy doesn't have XP. We have a ton of exploration XP now. Okay. Let's use exploration XP to increase the chance of that expedition. I'm sure there's a way to math out which's best there. Let's take out this as well. Actually, ooh, is that some boats? Those won't do you much good. We already moved those. So now the Amazon Rainforest Expedition's done. So we can do the Borneo Rainforest. The other Rainforest. You say they're the same Rainforest, I say no. Feudal Monarchy is culture thing which gives one uh, pop for all vassal cities. And you can just grow cities to 40. That seems like a lot. Hey llamas, how's it going? I think we'll pay this. Especially because we now have exploration income, really. I think we'll just look to push through these guys to the thing and then clean them up after. Because I don't think they're going to do too much. Kind of want to rush this here. Again, was thinking of... Nicomedia needing space and putting the space here. That's actually just gonna give us a bunch of mines, though. I'm, I, I think we can't put what we want to put on the flat hills. 
Maybe that's not too bad. Persephilus maybe wants more space too? LA has been taken over by the Brazilians, the truth hurts. I think we do want to expand a town as like one of the things and I just don't know where. I guess I guess here's maybe okay. Do we want that to be a mining town? I guess it wouldn't be a terrible mining town. Could also expand down here. To get access to a second wine. Don't hate that. And then I think it would expand out like this. Gives more space for Travernum. And then we can maybe build something up there eventually. I don't know. Really hemming in uh, Helen's uh, board, but I think we're just never incorporating that. So that's maybe not a big deal. Um. I think it's going to take forever for us to get this otherwise. Uh, in terms of getting the influence. Take a look up here. Hmm. Oh, I definitely want to put a quarry here, huh? Um... Oh, we, now we have the limestone, the building that can make use of the limestone, huh? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, we probably should have just shipped gray in here instead of trying to make it ourselves. Um. Hmm. Can't quite get the, what we want over there yet. Kind of committal. I guess we could go here with the town? Or here with the town, even? We could get our bonus, and then we maybe would be getting this as well. Or maybe right here is actually good for a town. Because it could be a plantation town. And then we get... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I think I like that. And then... We will want to make plantations here. And then we'll make that into... A plantation town. Why don't we just do that now so we don't forget. Expand town. Change specialization. I said change specialization. As a farming town. No, wait. Farming improvements. Oh, it has to be a farm. It can't be... Hold the phone, man. Alright. I don't think it counts these other things. That sucks. Alright, well, we're learning. We can upgrade to large temple. Does this give us... Oh, it does give us this. Okay, let's do that. Large temple. Yeah, and that's... Now we can make the two wines and we can do the wine press. So... Put in the plantation. And then... Two grapes or rice into two wine. Uh, we probably should be- we should be expanding here. We need to be expanding here. Oh well. Not the worst. Bruh. My kingdom for a good city spot. I think we move these guys here. Move 
move quickly and take risks. I think we'll do move quickly and take risks. Hope it goes good. You gotta risk it to get the biscuit, you know what I mean? Poor, poor Sweden. They didn't ask for this. What's the best way to get exploration XP consistently? I think building those lookout towers is pretty good, because they're pretty cheap. I don't know the best way to get a lot, though. Why are you playing this game? Is there any fun in it, or are you looking for some uh, PDX sponsor? No, I'm playing it for fun, mostly. This is kind of... Uh, also, I mean, I kind of would like to be able to branch out uh, a little bit, but... I mean, the EV on this is plus... It's just risky to get the biscuit. But the way the math maths. Is AI competitive besides the first two to three ages? Well, we, <laughs> we, we struggled to get out of those ages several times yesterday. And then uh, now we're just kind of crushing, it feels like. So maybe not. And so this, this also might be a thing where the AI gets a bunch of bonuses early on, and so the only time of the game that feels challenging is maybe that, like, bracket uh, where you're, like, competing with the AI because they're bonuses before you kind of break three, free, and then maybe it's not h hard enough, and then maybe, like, on the higher difficulties, the AI is just impossible, and, like, this is it's possible that the game is, like, rough in that regard. But I'm having funny, fun playing it and uh, figuring it out. Looks like we conquered half the map. We conquered half the discovered map. Plantations count for farming town? Spectacular. Okay, that's good for us then. So this one will be pretty good. This town. And then I'm thinking it'll help to expand towards that iron anyway. And then also the town here is more likely... It won't take as many outposts to link up Nantes, I think, here. And maybe Nantes makes a town and then we make an outpost or something. I don't know. We're just gonna take this out and then easy peasy. Uh, is twenty five knowledge even worth that much? We're getting twenty five a turn. We'll take the wealth, I guess. Metalanium. This is the fish place. We upgrade the large temple. Ooh, they are having a housing problem. I don't know what type of thing we wanted to make here. But this is also the only place we could put housing. So I guess we'll have to try and figure that out. Persephilus, what are you building? It better be religion. Yeah. Y'all need to find God. You having fun watching me? Big nice. Looks like USA and Pittsburgh are still going at it. Or USA and Brazil, rather. Trade post improvements. One additional generated good per tile. Trade post? We haven't even built trade post. Let's take a while. Long term, those, like, obviously those other things are much better, but now we have a big... Ultimate test, we're at 90% to, uh, to succeed. Big nice. I think we'll send this explorer down to the Aurora. Next. And then let's find over here. So here we needed housing, right? So let's build. Ooh, uh, Loki want to build a pyramid here, actually. Let's build a pyramid so that we can try and get more dirt. Yeah, and I think we're... Oh, we need the... Rip the dream. We still need the other thing. Not the stone cutter, we need the um, tool workshop. I don't think we have enough. 
We need a tool smith. We need 18 juice or whatever. Wow, it just doesn't look like there's a good spot for a city over here. We maybe have to explore more, boys. Put your Dora the Explorer hats on. We can also link up with this guy. I think we keep this army here for now. In case weird things happen. So we got one more after this. Um, I guess it'd be nice to have the 100% chance, so we'll do that and we'll have 100% chance. Chance of failure, non-existent. Uh, we'll come here. I think we'll just go for it here. Yeah. Sweden's gone. Hey, and a ribo is now in someone we can <laughs> we can convince to come over through non-military means. Although I'm pretty sure we can just convince them much easier this way. So, but that's smell you later to Sweden. I think we'll take out this with those guys. So now, actually, yeah, maybe we want to march this army up. Up this direction. Oop, is the game lagging? Okay, it's not. Uh, I think we just want to take all these guys out. If we can. A bunch of XP in Boston. Hmm, we could run it back, but Pittsburgh's, yeah, whatever. You find playing tall with four mega cities very chill and fun this game. They do seem to give you uh, some incentive to play tall versus wide, which is always nice. Uh, we can't go this way anymore, so let's do that. Before we build anything else, let's build the tools that we need here. Toolsmith. Perfect. And now, we should be working the exact five things we need to make... Wait, what? Tinker, stonecutter... Oh, there's no, uh, there's no furnace. Tragic. Uh... All right, we have one more. We have one more thing that we can build. Let's build the furnace. Okay, now we should be working the exact seeds that we need. Uh, let's get rid of the stone cutter. Oh, but we want someone on the pyramid. Oh, this mine is making limestone. No, it's making iron. Oh, I thought furnaces... Okay, we need another furnace. Rip the dream. Let's do this. So, let's send them on their way. I think, can we make a dock? No, we don't have enough. Our culture power is ready. I think we create a town for Nicobidia right here. One out of zero out of two towns, two, two, one out of two. We'd love to get more fish, I think. 
be fair, we have quite a bit of fish, and we could use something other than. Or what else could we do with culture power form? Propaganda, cutting edge, absorb outposts, create. Yeah, I think we want to create a town. Took me nine, ten hours hours to finish one game, one with Age of Transcendence, big nice. Is the game good? It feels pretty solid. Um, I think that I'm uncertain about the replayability and the balance, so it could just be that the the game is only difficulty difficult uh, as a result of the, like, this is kind of a theory I'm starting to, the game's like really difficult in one particular band and is not challenging throughout is maybe going to be the case. But the underlying systems, I think, are really cool. And so we definitely want to... I'm definitely interested in playing more of the game. Um, we have two out of two towns on there. Rip, dude. Where are we supposed to... I guess maybe we add the town here, huh? I mean, we could add a town here and try and make use of the fish. But we low-key do want to get the iron into Nicomedia, I think. Versus the other place? Maybe don't. Wouldn't hate it if Uppsala got the iron. Because I think we're incorporating Uppsala. So if we wanted Persepolis... And Persepolis is our fastest growing growing place as well. If we wanted them to grow, where would we want them to... What direction? I guess down towards here. But what type of town would we make... What type of town? We don't have- it's it's not looking super good for having a whole bunch of adjacencies. Okay, we can make a town here. And make it a wood town. I actually don't hate that, to be honest. Alright. That's just a hill, so we could go after this comfortably. Well, there's another barb town, so we could just go after that. And maybe we actually would want to found the city up here. That's super awkward because it's so far away. And we're running into Stuff that's navally difficult, and we <laughs> all we have is galleys, so maybe we actually need to change up how we're researching. So we have shipbuildings from the Age of Bronze. But maybe we research navigation next. Since your reviews are mixed, yeah, I, I don't want to give, like, a super stellar review. We're having a fun time, but uh, I think that I, I'm not sure about the replayability, like, at all. 100% chance. Big nice. Brazil and USA have signed peace after Brazil took Pittsburgh and Los Angeles. Luckily, the capital of Miami is safe. Fortunately, the capital of Miami is safe. I'm gonna go for a holy site because we don't have this very well fulfilled. We can spawn an artist. Generate artwork. Let's test this out. I don't know what that means.
Creates a new artwork good in a friendly nearby capital. Which provides luxury, okay. I'm gonna need more sanitation though. Non builders give minus 50 food need, makes me make 30 size cities at this point in the game. Interesting. So the mound builders, like, yeah, they seem like they're gonna be much better s as the game gets super late. Game ended up going to the last stage. Might get it, didn't want to pre order since last pre order was bad on Skylines. Yeah, I mean, like, uh,. So far, I'm only confident that, like, the hey, the game is super fun for, like, at least 10 hours or something like this. I think. I'm super enjoying trying to figure out the systems, and it's a lot of fun. Okay, so we can upgrade the farms to make plowed farms, which create two wheat. Oh, this solves all of our problems, actually. Yeah, okay. So now we have enough wheat to make all the bread we want. And now we're having big surplus. Okay, big nice. Big surplus, big nice. They're already growing at max capacity or speed. We don't have any improvement points anyways. I guess we're being pretty inefficient with these improvement points, though. Game seems bare bones. I ended up in the Age of Plague, which slowed down the game harm. It seems bare, bo bare bones. The thing that's most concerning about me is how the flow of the game against AI. Uh, the AI seems not very intelligent, but this is also true for all 4K games. But the AI seems particularly weak, and on top of being particularly weak, um makes up for it with, like, hidden bonuses, or just, uh, even on the base difficulty. Um, and I think that once, once you pass them up, maybe it's just they're not a problem anymore. Of course, maybe we'll just get clapped by them in a later age, but, um, we're not sure yet. Thanks for the follow, Joe721. How do you, tra uh, cha cha change over the religion of a region? Uh, well, so, when we build a religious building, it builds, uh, it gives plus religious, uh, access, and that religious is Hinduism, specifically. We could compel them to go to the capital, gain two pop in Alexandria. You know what's funny? We wouldn't hate a city here, but we could found it with our settler anyways, so we could use this settler to gain pop. I think we're gonna allow it to become part of Rome, though. Try some of that. Time to explore the Grand Canyon. I think we're just gonna work our way over to this. And ignore a lot of those guys, those boyos. That's an amazing t-shirt you're wearing. You only notice now, you're jealous? Yeah. The good old, what is it, uh, rabbit or duck t-shirt? Is it a rabbit, is it a duck, who knows? You're a bit out of loop, but the construction queue and migration bugs fixed? <laughs> yes, they are. Uh, they are fixed. Migration also is tuned a lot differently, but that seems to be, uh, wad slash intentional. Um. Seems like we have a bit of military, and they're coming over for our stuff, and we have extra XP, so maybe we go volunteers. Wait, did it say it just gives us just a pike? Not a pike and a... Just, just pike only? That seems not worth the volunteers, man. 
But this guy is coming a raiding. We don't like that either. What can we do here that's gonna be good? See, we want to save for tenacity. Is this just, uh, the yellow's just a sign that, okay, our cap is 300, we're just approaching it. All right, all right, all right. And we researched feudalism, which is how we got the plow farms. Large plantation. Kitchen converts two of this to luxuries. Ranch, all right. Everything can get upgraded. You know what, though? What do we want to research? Navigation, I think. We haven't built boats in a while. Boats. Uh, bikes. Alexandria. Well, they don't even have the max religious stuff. How do we get more sanitation is the question. This is another thing that the Cahokia Mounds give is the sanitation. We, we are struggling to make more sanitation requirement fit. Um, Persepolis is going to grow real fast. We have a ton of gold here. Ravenna finishes the granary. Oh, we probably should have rushed that, huh? Hmm. Let's do these things, maybe. The neutral cities uh, doing nothing the whole game uh, is a big missed opportunities. I think they do stuff. Uh, it's just they don't want to very aggressively. But I think they do do stuff. Oh, these tiny little guys? Yeah, maybe they don't do anything. Once you incorporate them, they do stuff, but yeah, initially, I think that, you, I, th I fear you might be right. Yeah, so in the sense, the, the critique that they're bare bonesy might be there a little bit. Okay, uh, so with this guy, if we upgrade this, it's gonna make two flax. Now we don't need. Who's sending them extra olives? We don't need that shit. Alexandria doesn't need to doesn't need to domestic export the olives. Instead, we could export something like machines. Oh wait, no, that's just giving improvement points, not machines. I mean, we could export bread. <laughs> I don't think we want to export bread. We're gonna have to decide where we want to put another town sometime soon here. Got the housing. Housing, please. I mean, maybe we give it to them for because we want housing specifically. Oh, I like how it's not recommending us upgrade the tiles that aren't getting worked. That's kind of neat. You guys could use a little bit more food. But we're starting to run into sanitation problems, actually, as the kind of big one for our big cities. 
Sanitation and religion combined. Oh, we have a need for more logs. More housing. Is that something we can build? Hmm. Maybe we don't want navigation. I mean, we just started researching it. Machinery. Brickworks. Clear cut. So the blast furnace and the deep mine. <laughs> I love the tilt tip. A way to reach metals far underground if you don't delve too, dig too greedily or too deep. Big nice. So this is gonna benevolence would give us this fountain for sanitation. And the trash heap. Mm. Maybe that's more important. Barb cities. I think like most forex games where you go all in and war on AI early, you become two or three times more powerful than a single empire, which is impossible for them to compete with. Yeah, to be fair, we haven't built any military in a while. Maybe we would get clapped by the AI. I kind of don't think we would. Here, like, uh, I think we can click on their flag and it'll show the relative power difference. So our power is 2k relative to their 16k. And here our power is... Well, their power is gone. We got wrecked by Brazil. This is even with, like, Brazil, like, annexing most of them. And it feels like we don't have too big of mega stacks. The thing is, is they just never upgraded their units. They got a bunch of free units, but they don't know how to upgrade their units, really, it feels like. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we park these guys in Verona. Explorer time. I think we'll spend a little bit to earn a little bit. Maybe we just one-shot the guy with the back line. Take zero damage. Large temple done in Trevornum. do need a bit more of that stuff. We have a ton of gold, too. I think we're gonna look at incorporating someone soon. It just spawned barbarians on every single outpost and deleted them in, uh, on an errand change. What a joke. That's kind of... Ooh, what is this? Wait, what the hell? Oh, no, wait, that's not us. That's them. Integration is a little bit slow. To be fair, we could push the integration. So they need religion here in Persepolis, but let's take a look. 
Persepolis does have people working just grass. Here we can see the hint the faith level of our guys. Nicomedia has guys working just grass and water too. I think we want a port as well. We can dock. Oh, I forgot the first one gives us one of these boys. Not sure we can make that good use with it. Or we would have preferred it on the other side of the map. I guess we can look around a little bit. Oh, what's this? Right as we have the army, big army leave up Sala, we get this. Hmm. Bring these guys back, I suppose. Take this down. the wealth. Although we're just sitting on a ton of wealth now. We're gonna do the same thing with these guys. Actually, let's knock out one of these guys while we're on a, at it. Only one frontline guy. Dangerous. Thank you for the follow, Joe Midi. Big nice. Let's take a look here. Okay, I think we're gonna cash in for the Gov XP. I think Gov XP is generally kind of the most valuable experience. Domestic export slots, I think are something we're into. So now, we can come into a place like Persepolis Export a ton of food everywhere to Alexandria, for example. All right, we're making a ton of excess grain, and we actually want to turn it into other stuff before we export it. But now with the extra slot, well, we can even export our finished bread to Alexandria to make it grow faster. I'm not sure. That's what we want to do. Because we're hitting the sanitation problem with all these gats. But we got places like Nicomedia that are going to have a ton of extra logs, yeah? And they can export these logs to someone to make, like, paper out of. Oh, we never, we never rebuilt the scribe thing we wanted. Rip. For the providing the religious stuff. We don't have enough improvement juice anyways right now, so. What a strange army we have here. I think we win this. Spawn a courier, sir. I'm not sure. We have a culture power. Kind of, kind of want to place a thing there. I think we could just float the culture power. We'll do tenacity here. So our social fabric, we're now getting a bonus. The the honestly, like the social fabric bonuses here, I find a little bit underwhelming. I think this can be improved, but okay. I think we wanted to make this one. Oh, we need to upgrade it first. A 
lumber town. Not sure what we want. I mean, I guess Nicobadia is our biggest town that hasn't. They're still at one town. Avernum's at two, Alexandria, Persopolis is at two. Ravenna's still at one. Ravenna's gonna be a, a nice one, eventually. Pittsburgh. Uh, this is gonna be a nice place. Maybe we incorporate this and build a town on this. we make a town right there? This would not be a bad spot for a town, because we could do three plantations, getting bonuses. They already have one town. Hmm. This also just, like, wouldn't be that bad a city. The thing is, it's like... Absala has got to be incorporated first, right? Or is more important. I mean... We could give Thebes a town right here, a fishing town, and hope that it expands out this way. Could make a town right here. We could also just not use a town. We could use, like, Eureka for 130 knowledge. Propaganda reduces chaos by promoting official version of events. Increase innovation. Plus 10 a turn is not too bad, but I think it resets, so we would get the thing and then... Yeah, we'll do Cutting Edge. They give us some pretty nice bonuses. I really don't know the place we want to put it down, so... Nicomedea. Emperor's Palace. Why is your water red? Because we're in a age of intolerance. We're in a negative age. Hmm. Alright, maybe we can set out this way. I guess we've not scattered over this way as much? I don't know. I'm gonna wait a turn here. Tough it out. You can pay some experience. This is just, like, mathematically that one's really strong. Those people are scared of losing a chance, but... Let's get ready to take that one out. Just take out the camp. 
The new Civilization game looks weird. A little bit, yeah. We can get Warfare XP or Diplo XP. I think we'll take the Diplo XP. So now we're cruising up on Tolerance, which is actually pretty nice. Alexandria needs the sanitation. We'll upgrade the large temple, though. Mediolanium. This place has got some problems. They really need housing. Oh, I suppose we could try and figure out a way to export influence to them? If there's a good that gives influence, we could export it. Maybe. Or we could build the influence building. Yeah, we could do that too. Herpa derpa. Here, let's do that here as well. Maybe a little Swedish, if I dare say. You dare say it. Uh. Alright, what is this gonna give us? Lose Hinduism? Hell no. Not in the Age of Intolerance. They must all be Hindu. Grim, man. Maybe we can run this way? Hopefully we can run up this way and maybe make a city over here. I think that would be a, a decent spot for a city. So I guess we're gonna go with the Warfare XP unless we could... No, we can't click or spend or do anything like that and we don't want to overflow on the things. So we're just gonna go with the Warfare XP. Alright, now we have a ton of this juice. So let's see what we can do in some cities. This tile's getting worked, but they already have max food anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ravenna could use some housing. I think, oh, we, again, we need, yeah. We need influence on them. They're not working any bad tiles. Alexandria's not working any bad tiles. In fact, I think they need more people. Yeah, they have like a stone cutter job available. So that's fine. Trevornium, not working any of these bad tiles. Persepolis is working a bad tile, so let's take a look at what we can maybe do for them. Okay, we have a ton of excess grain as well in Persepolis, right? Yeah, so we can make way more flour. So let's come in here. Meat, olives, or sugar to... Ah... to delicacies which give luxuries which we could export how much meat do we have we only have one meat and we don't have any olives so maybe we don't do that so we build a mill now Let's export food also to the capital here. Oh, we have to send <laughs> we have to send it all to one place. Okay, that's stupid. <laughs> well, I guess we really don't need food here. <laughs> Why did you say you can't spend the engineering XP? So the UI was not letting us click this. 
so that we could spend some of it so that we could gain 50 and we have a cap at 300 so I didn't want to gain 50 XP and then just waste 24 of it into just eating the cap and so that's why we did it like that I think we're gonna do this minus culture oh we should have taken a look at how much our culture upkeep went to but I think it I think we're getting culture real fast now Really keen on being able to integrate Uppsala. I think there's some that we could, like, I don't think we're integrating this. Oh, we don't even have anywhere near enough Gov stuff. Alright, 90%. Failure! Oh no, math. Yeah. The math hurts. I don't know where that guy's coming from. I guess down well, I guess down there, but I think we come in or I think they're gonna trash that capital no matter what, so we just scout with those guys. Or there's another Look at this asshole, making an outpost right on our borders. Look at this jerky McJerk face. Being a jerk. We'll ship him up here to deal with that. Is that another one? No, that's T. Food is for the weak. Tax the grain. We wish we could tax the grain. We're just sending like infinite grain over here. That's so stupid you can't split and send to other- So I can't breadbasket my whole country with Persepolis, I can only breadbasket one thing. I suppose it's maybe okay, but... Region is idle. Um, what are you looking at here? Persephalus. Yeah, let's do government. Nice that that finally expanded out. It is especially nice because we wanted to make a town up north, norte, up here. And so we're going to get to make a town there. It also gives us a ton of space because we wanted to create housing. So 12 housing gives wealth or 15 housing but causes unrest. Public quarters. Public orders, I think, are going to get upgraded soon. So let's just go with that. So now we'll grow real fast. And why don't we rush this. And just, uh... Create a town up here. I think the Eurekids are not too bad, though. Because this... We're getting plus 13 innovation. It'll go down to plus 3. But then we could just keep Eurekaing. We're going to go Ingenuity here. For an additional social fabric thing. Just kind of quickly glancing over unrest levels. They seem to be holding steady everywhere. Like the first time in forever. Maybe it's because they like the religion. 
that is enforced by the state via intolerance. The worst enemy of society. It do be like that sometimes. Yeah, we want more gov XP. Alright, let's go for this 96 stack. One day we'll grab him. Wow. Another one spawned. Brazil is doing nothing to put down these raiders. I think we'll go for the exploration XP. We'll teach them the Roman way. The way of the axe. Civic monument. Build the crane while it's this cheap. So they're ready to integrate. They're probably a pretty solid city too. Or they look pretty good. How hard has been acquiring Diplo been? It's been pretty easy. I think that we don't have too much spending on it that's really useful. But the tolerance, even tolerance is not that useful. Wealth per turn, like, and this is like, I don't think this scales. Like, so I think this just gives, or it doesn't even tell us how much wealth it's gonna give. But if this wealth doesn't scale, like, it's gonna be a super mad bonus. I don't know, but maybe you can cheese the AI by sending a bunch of things? I don't know. Bunch of diplomatic missives. Okay, so now we have a place where we can lay down housing. Here. Because we need housing for them. I, I for, for a while I thought the house was strictly worse than the public quarters, but the public quarters gives unrest and a ton of housing. That's the idea here. I think instead of working the stone cutter here, we do want them to be working an iron smelter. But we're gonna get the next tier smelter in a bit. Man, we'll just make another smelter anyway. Metalworks. Furnace. So now we're making the whole shaboodle. We're growing real fast. I'm trying to decide which national spear to take. Haven't made it past turn 30, but I will this round. Um, which, uh, what are your choices for bonuses? I mean, I think God King Dynasty is really good. I think the... What else? I, I assume you're talking about the first one? And I think we're even underutilizing it, but for example, the thing that gives you a limestone in every single place, that means that you get to build a stone cutter in every single place, giving you engineering XP and wealth and a bunch of, and some production and influence. Like that seems pretty solid. TBH. I think we're gonna probably wrap up pretty soon here. Maybe at the end of this turn. Avoid the one more turnitis. Cause we do, I think we still wanna stream tomorrow. 
maybe we'll, this will be a substitute for... No, we'll try and stream tomorrow. So with that in mind, kind of finish out this turn, I think. Uh, Alexandria, can we only build one of these? No, we can build as many of these as we want. Okay. This is giving us a lot more for less construction, I think. Holy Site in Travernum. Let's do that. Ravenna. We might need a watch. How are we doing? Yeah, we're gonna need a watch and then an aqueduct because we built the, the housing thing. So, the borders already grew here too. So we kind of got that handled. Is there anything that we are like aware of that we know we want to handle? that we're gonna forget. I don't think so. So I think we're gonna wrap it up, everyone. So last time we said goodbye to the YouTubers first. So we're gonna send goodbye to the Twitchers first. Now where should we send you guys? St. Kaladin, finishing the first look game. All right, so he's maybe a little bit ahead of us. So maybe we raid him. Cash back big with Chase. Cash back big with, actually I think we raided him last night or whatever, maybe we didn't. But he's playing this game, so we'll give you guys a raid. St. Kaladin. And we'll send you guys off. And then we will say goodbye to the YouTubers. Because I think we did it the other way around last time. Although, saying goodbye to the Twitchers second makes more sense, but... There we go. We sent the Twitches on the way. I just wanted to let you guys know, the YouTubers, those who remain, you guys are my favorite uh, of the two streaming platforms. Never change. Uh, and we are going to be going off and away. I think we'll probably stream this tomorrow uh, in the morning. We'll see. Um, but uh, if you're here for Victoria 3, uh, gonna be streaming Victoria 3 on Saturday in the morning. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. You know, do the YouTube algorithm thing. And uh, have a good day.